I think I might be able to win just off of like flipping coins at you. Yeah. Like someone like Soul, where you're like, I know that my number bigger than your number. Yeah. Right. And so if we just get into scrambles, I trust I myself win. there. I've got the DP. I've got the big damage. Yeah. Right. If I see item toss, Ooh. item super even, I just vortex. Like I think nine times out of ten, it's net positive. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Vega plays Milia, so this is gonna be exciting too. This looks like it's gonna be fun. Yeah. <laughs> for yeah. Everyone. I, they gave this character. I saw her her new moves like the Artemis Axel flow. Rainwater. Uh, yeah. It's it, she just works. Yeah. All right, let's get into it. it yep, well. that spacing right there is what I'm talking about. If you can cover that angle where bomb throw is or where the item throw is, the Faust matchup completely changes in the pace. Faust obviously has a tremendous 6P, but Ooh. oh, and a 2S that I don't think you yeah. see too often as an anti-air. That but type in of this matchup. That type of having that type of anti-air where you're low to the ground and you can kind of cover the space right above your head completely shifts fighting Milia. Abba's 2S is amazing here too. That type yeah. of move. Yeah, that is very. Yeah, I think I saw that in float a couple weeks ago. Uh, mm -hmm. Millie versus Abba. Abba, that 2S. Oh, yeah. So oh, I was it's watching those matchups. Those float VODs to get uh, Abba information. It was amazing. Yeah. That JH Millie. That's going to so put her strong. out of the corner. This might have been able to kill with, with the meter spend, but I'm going to take the knockdown. Team neutral skip and team buff Faust. Joker not. Ooh, big. Ooh, that's talent. big. We're going to get some items. Pick up the trumpet. Pressure here. Millia. Oh, nice. Such strong mobility, of course, able yeah. to get around all those items. I think we've seen Joker not be a little bit more. I don't know if zoning's the right word, but kind of being a little bit more measured with his with his, uh, mm -hmm. with his pokes, right? Because Millie is obviously just get. Oh, oh wow. wow! The old no use. Okay, that. burst for the corner. Nice. Put the afro on. Get a fuzzy high low here if you want it. Nice, nice. Deflect, deflect shield, but it didn't so hit you gonna, out of the corner. Yeah, not gonna bail you out of the afro. Though. Ada meteor. That's so good. At any point, free pressure, right? Oh, he might have been over pressed there. That meter didn't look like it was timed too, too close to that teleport button. Not sure what he wanted. What's really going to decide this matchup is which one of these players is able to keep the other person from being in the air. Right? Yeah. Joker's done a pretty good job, but that's the first knockdown in this round, at least. Here we go. You can get knocked Bad down. Bad again. It's game time. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, that's that nice. another meteor. Okay. Okay, wait. Team Buff Faust might be seeding the RNG in their favor the way we've seen team two meteors already. Well, they gave me. I shouldn't have said it. Millie's got the trumpet now. Oh, bailing it! Bailed out by Baby Faust. Got you back. Yeah. All day. He'll do your taxes. Anything for you. He'll go to the grocery store. Cook you dinner. This space control? Joker not right? You said it early. Rate leveled up. I think he Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. No, I like. He has absolutely been grinding, not just Strive, but fighting games in general. And you can see how those skill sets can transfer over. You can see how somebody who's yeah. good at DBZ can move strong in Strive or yeah. Solar, right? Yeah, sure. I mean, you can, like, anyone who's played Milia, a good Milia knows that. It's, you're, like, swatting. It feels like you're swatting at a wall. Yeah, 100%. Right? You're, like, fighting your demons, swinging at the air sometimes. Yeah. But you have to because she'll take the space so quickly. Oh. Any fouls bailing you out again? The oh, but but, but no there was no the meter first. out of the 5B. Bates the burst. Okay, we're going to start some mix here, and this could change the pace of the match. Joker Another disc. No resources defensively on deck. I'm going to have wow. to just hope to block it out. Mike, you dead here. Yep, that, yep, that. Faust Built the meter for the super right on that wall splat, too. Without it, yeah. I don't know if it would have killed. Great awareness. I mean, Faust is made of paper mache. Yeah, he is. He has paper bag. Which, of course, is just really thin paper. Is that what it is? Is yes. that what mache means? Paper, mache? Yeah. mache means really thin in, oh. in uh, Polish. And Michael's arts and crafts. Uh, <laughs> uh, <you laughs> Joanne's. <know>. Joanne's, <laughs> yeah. Okay, Vega has locked in on the mix now. No oh, first, Wow, the double fast fall right there. Same side turbo fall, then cross the turbo fall. Throw. That's a painful drop. Yeah. But we still have a life lead. Yeah, nice. fighting Millie at a high level. You have to, you have to. Yep. You had to guess right on the blocks a couple times, but you got to also know when to match. Get out yeah, right. it's, it's, it's a matter of when, right? Yep, absolutely. A really big thing for a lot of folks first fighting Milia is learning that uh, that little OS with FD and 6P behind you. Things like that against this character go twice the distance. Ate the trumpet, so that's on deck still. You can see in the bottom right down there what's stored. Ooh, nice oh, nice wow. grab. I think Vega wanted to do the cross-up there, but uh, that's the side. Oh, we have grab. two trumpets. Ooh. At any point now, he can say, I'm tired of playing neutral. Let me get my boys in. Yeah, I'm getting that sword card. Gold burst. Nice oh, cross-up. Oh, oh, no. Gold burst out. That's okay. Gold burst not punishable anymore, so we're basically on even ground here with a little more meter for Faust. Okay, very nice. 
confirmed by Drift out there, but he'll get knocked down again. You gotta hold this next guess for game, I think. Takes the guess instead of ending in super. The YRC whiffs because Milia was all the way in space. Yeah, there's so many burst safe, YRC safe setups, reversal safe setups in Milia. That's too. punish, that's that's the game. Yep. GG is the fist bump up there. Wow, that. I, the scoreboard said 2-0 oh, yeah. there, but I really do not. It's close. Yeah, no. very close. And and that kind of matchup, you're as Faust, you're controlling space against one of the fastest yeah. characters in the game. Yeah. So like you can have everything down, play wonderful for a long time, and then the Milia player gets a little bit ahead of you in your decision making, yep. and suddenly she's in on you. Bad moons on the table. There's 50 meter. You're getting mixed. There's so much to think about, and then you're just dead. Yeah. Right? There's too much to think about, and I don't. I hate thinking. Yeah. When I play a fighting game, it's the, one of the last things I want to do. I want to play with all my heart. Yeah, I want to think at the character select, and then when we start the match, yeah, close let's, my it's, eyes. Yeah, it's no longer it's out of my hands. Yeah, right. It's in it's in your hands. It's in my hands. It's in your hands. <laughs> the hitbox yeah, yeah, is in the my hands. Is in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your yeah, brain, yeah. not in the hand. My not brain the is not in my hands. Ooh, it's in my head. It. Yeah, there's a couple. Uh, not the last round, but I think the round before that, we saw Juggernaut just like keep keep big at bay for like 30, 40 yeah, seconds. Yeah, yeah. Like, nah, can't fly here, but yeah, you get knocked down. There's a there's a really interesting I think for a character like Milia this dynamic of when you're playing like a zone or a more space controlly character which is like do I want to play really really preemptive and make sure that you don't like run at me right yeah. like especially someone like Chip make sure that you don't run at me that you don't take space really really aggressively or do I want to just calm down take a deep breath for a second and see if that's when you get aggressive yeah right see if you're gonna start trying to take space in the air and especially with Faust if I keep my cool and you're in the air jumping around my anteriors are strong right some of the strongest in the game yep I can just wait wait for you to come down pick my moment and then take that right yep. or move around a little bit on the ground keep things tough for you right the best feelings of course though I'm sure we've all tried a 6P a million. Oh, and it's just like and they, it never works. They, they want to bait it out, right? Yeah. That, that's their game plan. They want to force you to whip, and they, she's just fast enough to, to, yeah. to punish you for a whip there. Yeah, you look for a 6P and Capel counter hits you. Now you're in the corner, you're taking mix, yeah. and Limlin's cooking you because you tried to 6P. His hair is fake. It is. It's is a it? wig. I've, it's I've, a wig. I, CNN How tweeted about this. Really? A couple weeks ago. I saw it. I, really? I'll find it for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's interesting. I, I always thought because I've seen... He would go to different FGC meetups, and sometimes he would have hair down to like his knees, yeah, yeah. and then he'd be bald the next week, yeah, yeah. and then he'd have hair back a down to his knees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, "What's what's happening here?" Trevor Ward's playing Nago, Elvin Shadow, of course, playing Faust. This should be exciting. This is my—I'm not biased, of course. Yeah. I would never be biased. No. But Trevor Ward was my mystery bracket tournament yesterday. You guys are champions. We are champions, and let me tell you, it is in very big part to this man right here. Yeah. There's the amount of times that we would be you know, trying to coordinate things in our games, whatever, and Trev would just say, like, this is what this game mechanic is. Yeah. I just figured it out, do this, and I would go, yep. Some would say Trev Word is the uh, very kin to the rock of Gibraltar in, yes. in his stability. Absolutely. Yeah. He is he is bedrock. Yeah. The bedrock of that mystery run yep. was playing uh, NBA on NBC, and he was NBA jacked to my on Kobe. NBC. Yep. And it was it was. Were beautiful. you guys the Lakers? No, you were just with we the Bulls. We were the Lakers. No, we were the Lakers. I thought you were the Bulls. No, we were the Lakers. I was Kobe. He was Shaq. Uh, mm. I was just throwing threes from wherever yeah, I could. Yeah, you guys were Jack. And then somebody would swat They're it so down jacked. and I get three points off goaltending. It was beautiful. Yeah, it's not. It's not how it works. Yeah, it's not good for you guys. It's not. It's not a good uh, strategy to win. No. But it's an awesome strategy when the other team is it's doing also it. Also doing it. So yeah. You, yeah. It's who can. When you're nowhere harder. near the net and you see them jumping at the net and yeah, you're yeah, like, this is beautiful. Set, yeah, <laughs> I might as well. Full screen. I might as well put it up. I love all the sports themes, mis sports themed mystery games we had. It's yesterday. so much fun. It's doing something. We had bags as the the mm. losers finals, and I know you were commentating yeah. that, but being on you know on the ground, you just slowly saw like a, a group circle around it more yeah. and more and more yeah. as everybody was like. What is everyone yelling about in the corner, yeah. right? And they walk over, they see there's bags going on, everybody's screaming and yelling, yeah. and then everybody's just slowly getting beers handed to them from the bar, yeah. right? Like slowly. Oh, I got. What's come better back. than a than than the offline version of a mystery game? Like yeah. whenever Mr. Goo goes, "Hey guys, stand up, yeah. pulls the chairs," like, you know something sick is gonna yep. like. Connect four. Connect four bags. with the spin. I've seen "Don't Break the Ice" before. <laughs> and don't break the ice. Oh, it's like a. Hungry, hungry yeah. hippos would be amazing. Yeah, it's that's that's awesome too. <laughs> Don't break the ice is like you have these wow. these little squares and this little hammer, and all the squares are held up on the board from yeah. like tension from them all being packed yeah. in, and you have to hammer them down. And the person who 
you know, like it gives up the structural stability and all the squares fall, that's yeah. who loses. Yeah. So it's like Jenga if it was uh, horizontal. And yeah, if it Demolition was ice. Ask Django. Yeah, yeah, Django. Django. Yeah. Unchained. Unchained. My favorite movie. Anyways, we got Trevor. We got Elven Shadow. We got Trev on the Nago. I know he plays a lot. A couple different heavies, right? Yeah, he played He played Nago at the start of the game. He was really competitive in Season 1. That was when he was, like, really yeah. grinding this. Very strong player. Did he I think play, it's ever play Gold Loose or Pot? I don't know. I know, I know he's been playing on the, on the Nago. Uh, if he was playing Potemkin, I would have to have some words with him to pick better characters. Yeah. I don't think so. Anyways, yep. Elven Shadow, of course, one of the best Faust, if yep. not the best Faust. That's obviously an excellent. Yeah. Uh, there, is, there is no doubt about, if you know Faust, you know Elven Shadow. And if you don't know Faust, you probably know Elven Shadow. Yeah, great guy. Outside of, outside of, ooh, nice. He was, he was blocking for the uh, the anchor, yes. the Acme Anvil, mm -hmm. you know, whatever it was. I can't think of it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so the command grab caught him just w respecting that uh, dark crash. Ooh, oh, that's nice. a DP. Oh, Bob bailing you out. That trades a lot of blood for the counter hit, though. I was wondering, I was wondering if you want, he want. kind of wants some blood, right? Faust just yeah. outranges you right, yeah. right now. So that's just so blood well, blood that, blood. that space where we're at right now, around like one to two blood, right? You've got great normals, but also you have the ability to cash out and spend. That Elven Shadow getting bailed out by the item again. Ooh, oh, no teleporting himself out of the corner. Trevor, back to the space. This is so hard, too. Trevor is a, a multiple game player, and sitting down in Strive or in Guilty Gear and having to play a character like Faust yeah. that does not exist in, like, Street Fighter no. or, you know, you you don't always oh. first bait. I was going to say you have to be on point, but that is on point. Yeah. Even if you don't know the other character, sometimes you're struggling with, you know, it's a weird yeah. matchup, it's a little bit unique. You still have the heart of being a 2D player. You yep. know how to play. But Faust... There's That's just silly things that happen, but Nagori Yuki, you know, is one of the characters you kind of just need to hit him once or twice. And, yeah, like, wow, catching the back dash with the command grab. Yeah. Be nice. Set up Another one? Okay. We're you are in jail. Elven Shadow's right now punishing Trev for not fuzzy jumping. Oh, you don't get a second after us. Okay, threatening the command grab again there. Fuzzy mix. Items. Wow. Oh, great conversion off the item hit. Bong's behind oh. you. Rev not. I, don't know if I think he's. Patient here? I think he's something like five for five on command grabs right yeah. now. He's really punishing Trev for down backing. Yeah. Trev's a gr tremendous defense, obviously. Mm -hmm. But in this one, of the, I mean, Elven Shadow's just really taking it to him, though. Like yeah. He's just kind of keeping him full screen. Big yeah, Trev, these items. For reference, for, for folks who might not know, one of the best KI players in the country. Just incredibly strong in that game. So he is. No, no slouch to difficult defense. Right, patience, but get, getting, finding some difficulty, just even just touching Elven Shadow here. He's doing yeah. such a good job of zoning with these items, spending the resources, and forcing the mix here. A lot of backdash coming out from Trev. Yeah, it's like Trev's defense is good up to a point, and then he just gets knocked down, and he's just back where he started. Oh, there's another one. And if that trumpet was a little bit later, there might have been a pickup there, too. YRC, you're still in jail. That Afro is still on fire. Yeah, that 2K, I think it's a Faust 2K, right? The, mm -hmm. the two-hitter? Yep. That has caught so many fuzzy jumps, it looks like. It's got the kind of delay where you'll block the first hit and then up back, and the second hit will hit you. I almost kind of want to see Trevor spend some more some more blood here, right? Yeah. Like, DP, you saw, was such a big counter hit that first uh, mm -hmm. couple rounds ago, right? And he's got such a great, great vertical range, 2H as well. It's super committal. I can understand why he doesn't want to necessarily throw it out and whiff, but you gotta do something. Oh, that was the first missed command grab, but RC made it safe. Yeah, Elven Shadow using a be beautifully managing his resources. Yeah, absolutely. Gonna have another yeah. one on deck here. Oh, oh. That's so unfortunate for Trav. With 2 0, so. Well played, but Buff Faust answering I, back. 1 well, 1 I, here. Do, you know, does he need buffs? I mean, I've heard Nago's pretty good. I saw Faust. I'm not saying anything right now, but I have short term memory, and all I just saw was a Faust win. Yeah. So. I've never seen Faust lose before in this game. Yeah. Man, this, yeah. this Faust and champion is pretty busted. He's Yeah, this <laughs> hero is crazy. Yeah. He's a, I would say he's definitely a, uh, this hero. a gimmicky uh, uh, meta pick. Yeah, yeah, very meta, this yeah. guy, with the bag on his head. <laughs> so, of course, this is 3v3, so I believe everyone gets one life. Yeah, first to two, right? everyone gets one life. 
So, so Vega has won. Vega won his match, mm -hmm. so he is still he still has a life. He's still on deck for after we get through the first three. Trevor has lost that set, so he's now he's out. He's just get to watch, hope yeah. his teammates do a little cooking. And he's got Chris Chaos, who if you want to talk about somebody who can do cooking in bracket yeah. any day of the week. And out of bracket, he's a great cook. And, yeah, I, and absolutely. Yeah. I this is like a this match right here also is two anime FGC but but guilty gear like veterans. Yeah. Right? They've I'm, seen it all. Yeah, they've seen a couple of RCs in their time, a couple of burst baits. Yeah. I Chris, as someone to fight in bracket, terrifies me. In Guilty Gear, there's no way I'm getting in his head. He's no. he's going to be stone cold. He's, he's also been known to be called the Rock of Gibraltar. He has. We have a lot of rocks of Gibraltar yeah. in Chicago. Yeah, I've lots noticed. of rocks, rocks of. Gibraltar. Yeah, it's a very mountainous region, so it yeah. makes sense. Yeah, very strong, stable <laughs> yeah. elevation here in Illinois. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Illinois. Illinois, yeah. yeah. Okay, we're gonna see some ABBA action. Oh, I love this. I I think this character is so cool. I think she's very fun. And very I, cool. As well. Oh yeah. I think it is. I didn't realize how much I liked the idea of hitting your install and then just like twerking, going yeah, in. Yeah, yeah twerking, you know, doing an 18 society. frame overhead that like high profiles mids even. Yeah, it's awesome. You hit people over their far slash with overhead, and you just see them play worse for the rest of the round. And you're like, oh, I'm I'm in your head. I got it. I've noticed the, some of the best ABBA players. Obviously, she's, she's a very recent release, but I've seen a lot of the best ABBA players. It's all about resource management, managing Absolutely. that install. What you'll want to watch for really strong ABBA players is they will constantly be routing themselves to leave and then enter stance yep. again with the key with the uh, key grab. Yep. You might RC, Personal uninstall, back heavy. That does. Boost up your uh, jealousy gauge quite a bit. So getting that, oh. rotating that in your options is very oh. slow. That's a big whip on Donzai. It's amazing, but it's very slow, and the range is not the greatest. This is where you don't. This is exactly what you don't want to do, right? Out of like, getting hit in jealousy, uh, no meter, stuck in the corner. Not yeah. a very good defensive options for either, right? Without meter, so yeah. That as a position, you have no install, you have no tension, you don't have burst. Yeah. Very hard to win. It's kind of beast of famine in that sense, right? You get, Absolutely. You get hit out of jealousy, right? and you're just sitting there like. It's burst. Burn in meter, it feels real, real bad. You gotta be careful swinging mids against Sin too. His 6P can be really dominant on the ground. Nice, Gonzai again. And it's all here. Here we go. We're not mixing though. We're a little from low there, Rekka Ender. You see that Rekka low again? 2H, 2H. Left there. install right there, see that? Yeah. He hit the Rekka and he left install, and after the, the Rekka hard knockdown is so advantageous that you can leave it and keep your Oki. Either way. I, boo I believe, I don't know exactly what it is, but there's probably some routes where you can uh, enter install on block with some meter. I'm assuming, yeah. right? Yeah, uh, uh, if you do BRC into install, you're plus. It's very strong. And of course, you oh, can... Oh, wow. Right back this is know. exactly what happened. It was a little weird. I think he just felt the, uh, the gap there and felt for the throw, maybe. Yeah. This is Sin is such a such a tempo character too, man. I falling behind one round, you have to play into Chris's exceptional defense. Oh, what a whiff punish right there! This is huge. The timer runs down in combo out of the, the hit stop. I get out of here. Oh no! I'm not gonna go get the physical uh, back H. I'm gonna get the meter back, but but big hit here. Bracket gives you back just enough to enter back in this dance. Oh, there's the overhead I was talking about. Chris, see what Chris did there? He just was like, I'm out. I don't even care. Yeah. Like, I don't even I don't, I don't, I don't want, want to be deal around with you. you. Yeah. Because like he needs that knockdown and to be able to continue to cycle. Yeah, and you saw what he burst, he burst the first hit of Rekka because the second hit is the one that gives her meter. Yeah. So Chris. if you if you want a bursting combo, burst the points where you deny her meter and you will win the round. Yeah. Right? You want you said feast or famine. You want to starve Abba, right? Yep. She is not a strong character when she's in this stance. She doesn't have a ton of strong tools. And sometimes just not playing her game is exactly what you need to do, right? 100 percent recognizing that. Very intelligent play. Yep. Here we go. Oh, that what a beat, but the DP still caught. Before this is timing. huge. Watch the meter run down here. Yeah, not gonna really get out of install in time. However, okay. big There's hit. The, you might get key grab here if you want it. Oh, no punish on the deflect shield. I think that JD is quite good. She has the Potemkin JD, but I think it's it's quite strong on her. I assume the key grab, unable to get into jealousy. Nice. Big hit and you get an install here. Oh, went up for a throw. Overextended a bit on the pressure and lost to the fuzzy jump. Chris, that high this neutral jump has been serving him so well. Abba, though. Some of the highest Install? health in the game, nope. so able to live. 
You really, oh wow, good chase down Chris yeah. with the elk hunt. Had You're, the meter to back him up. Absolutely. Me. Your goal there, right, is you saw Abba has maybe 60% meter. The only way, her win condition to the round is to get an install and to make you guess for your life. Yep. Right? Keep you scared with Don's eyes. You can't DP, you can't mash because of the guard point on it. And at the same time, keep you scared of the, the 2H, which is the double hitting low, mm -hmm. and the uh, the 236K, which is that fast overhead. Which you is a low crush. You can't defend against her forever, right? But if you keep her out of install, like Chris was so strong at doing in this set, it doesn't matter. You yep. don't have to deal with those scary tools, right? So Chris saw maybe 60% meter over there on Black Snake and said, I need to chase you down. I need to cut the space down yeah. because if this match opens up, I'm giving you space to install. I'm giving you space to, to build your script to win yeah. the round again. Right? And when she has install, even full screen, she has such great tools to She's just so get fast. in. She is yeah. so fast. Air dash. Style. Yeah. Her air buttons are just humongous. Oh, JS and JH are incredible. I, playing that character, I had this feeling of like, oh, I can, if I'm a little scared, especially against someone like Milia, and I'm in the air and I just swing, you have to be so, so on point to beat that without losing like in the trade yeah. or like the, the risk reward fighting into ABBA is so into install is not in your favor, but sometimes you have to do it, right? Sometimes the grizzly yeah, bear is running have to do it. You saw Chris just sometimes just, I'm like, just I don't want to engage. Yeah, like, just you if, do your thing, dude. Yeah, I don't, want, yeah, I don't want you to have install. And if you have install, stay over there. Yeah. But this is, this is scary now. It's Elven Shadow has to make it through both Vega and Chris Chaos. There's if he wants to, to bring this back. There's one man who can do it. It might be Elven Shadow. Yeah. He did look tremendous in his first yes, game. So absolutely. We'll see if he can continue. This is going to be Milia versus Faust. Um, Mike's just one of those guys who probably just keeps his match up. He's been around enough where he can kind of... Oh, if you're a legacy gear player and somebody picks Milia on you, especially you know if you were around a lot in, in, in Rev, yeah. and you're just like... What are you gonna, you got Strive Milia? I'm not scared of you, yeah. right? Yeah, I'm sure you've got some amazing mix. Vega's an incredibly strong player, but you're like, look, yeah, I... Back in Nom. Yeah, I you're not setting pocket. up Secret Garden. There's no <laughs> yeah. orb on the screen. Yeah. I can, when you left right me, I can see why I got hit. Yeah. I think I'm okay with this one. Yeah. You know, Elven Shadow has probably been, you know, spent his time, le you know, trying to block Bad Moon, yeah. trying to block the high low. He's this also been known to be called the Rock of the Gibraltar. The Rock of Gibraltar, yep. yeah. He, he called it. Elven, There's so many rocks. The Rock of Gibraltar, Shadow. shadow. And the Shadow is the shadow that the Rock casts. Of the Colossus of Rhodes. Yeah, it is. It yep. is. Thank Science. you. Science. Thank you. I, I hadn't known that one. Yeah, that's. Uh, I read about that in the book. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so it's a tough round start here. You never want to get the first knockdown or be defending against Milia and be knocked down first, but especially not in the corner. Nice. Five P contests and catches the jump. Yeah, Faust's light button's so good at just checking. Great range, yeah. very fast. Yeah. Good jump out. Milia's obviously a lot of air mobility. Oh, That's big. That We're going to take the corner back here for Vega. Nice for Mike. Meteor and the throw. This is massive, right? Because you can really... You negate the best items. Yeah. When a Faust sees a Meteor, it's like, oh, I'm in. Getting a throw on the Meteor toss pad. Yeah, very, very good awareness. And being in the Hammer, animation for the weight, throw. Meteor. Beautiful. Nice 6P, dash up 6P. Nice jump. Just getting clipped with that 2S. Faust in jail. Vega in the corner. Resources, mix, great blocks. I'm chilling, no punish though. Yeah, IB, but still too far. Nice items, a bomb. You saw this in Instagram when Vegas playing Dribbleout. Faust is just pretty good at controlling space here this morning. Yeah. I'm telling you, the, uh, the, the anti-airs, the way that you can respond to the air is how you respond to Milia so often. I don't know if it's me, but like, Faust character model, it makes it almost seem like it's harder. Like, Millie's like teleporting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In between. It, Faust is so large and Millie is so small flying around. It's very hard to tell, especially because he spins the, the stick or whatever, the scalpel, uh -huh. block, and it's like... The pokey? Yeah, the little, the little pokey stick. Oh, the shadow just... Oh, oh. baited the burst! That was... The light. So, I I don't know if you were in range for more uh, P-normals there, but a lot of characters, I this is like something Umi Show does so much. Characters like Happy Chaos, back in the Happy Chaos yep. days. Uh, fighting somebody who has gold burst or burst and just meeting with like 2P, 2P, where if they burst, you can still block it. Yeah. It's incredibly strong and lets you close out rounds at that pixel of health without actually uh, introducing the risk against burst. Yeah, this is big. The awareness is next level. Open Shadow. That's gonna hit. 
needs this game to stay alive. Huge. Dead. Oh no, no wall split. Okay, but 2P picks it up. Or 5P. All right. Wow, Vegas playing except that point here. This is dominant right now. Owens are looking very good in that first game, but I don't know necessarily what's changed or familiar things. But hey, he's fighting back here. Team neutral skip is looking incredible right now. Vega, Vega looking to send Elven Shadow home. Oh, there it is again. Double turbo fall. Where am I? Yeah, a lot of things. If you, if you haven't, oh, oh, that was the OS. That is a uh, holding back FD and you're like 4PK. Yep. You'll FD if they're in front, and if they're behind you, you'll 6P. Amazingly strong when people are doing that kind of left right on you in neutral. Almost oh, had a whiff meter here. Gonna be able to do another RC. Mix up. RC catches the Y R C and gets a punish wow. off of it. Donut. No. Another burst bait. Vega. The Rock of Gibraltar, Vega, as we Gibraltar. often call Vega. I wonder Vega. if Elvin Shadow could have killed. So he was very smart. He realized he was too high after the YRC yep. to get like a far slash or yeah. some bigger button. So he did a light. I yeah. think it was 2K like 2K or 5K, 2D. whatever it was. Like I wonder if he had another bar. I wonder if he could have, if he could have yeah. killed. Done like a 5K RC forward yeah. guy. We're up. Okay. Oh, we are so up. I think we're off on commentary then. Yeah. Well, it's been hot. It's been fun. It's we're going to go play. Jeremy here. Figure Strive, not really one to always go for a button check, only yeah. in really the super high stakes tournaments. I see, I see. Nah, it seems like we're going right back into it. So, Axelo versus Testament, right? You know, both characters that are really comfortable in the mid range. I think Testament wants to be a little bit closer than Axel, uh, you know, might be comfortable with, but already seeing Monty play a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, the uh, Axel buttons really contest at a lot of ranges that yeah. Testament likes to be, but Testament has more control in the long range with the axes of Grave Diggers. Yeah. And it will be really important to see how they can really get into that. But right now, Monty's showing up with the clean mix on the RC on the way down. Aquanite has yet to find an answer. Yeah, definitely not afraid to, uh, you know, run in. Being Aquanite a little bit more uncomfortable. No zoning required. We're playing to the mid range. Sends out the Grave Reaper, like you said, but uh, teleport. Just trying to fight for the space. Already lost 50% of you so quick. Yeah, that sort of round start spacing a little bit outside of that. That's yeah. where Axel really likes to be at. Where 2H Ooh. and 5P really contest. But the, picking the right options, the right ways to approach, Aquanite gets the burst out from Monty. Yeah, we saw the IAD there, didn't get caught up with the Soaring Strike, but either way, barely any health to your name. Does not activate the one visit in time, the OTG, a little bit too late. Now he TP forward, missed the close slash GD, but Monty had all the faith in the world, holding on to that down back, but does take game number one. Yeah, a little bravery coming out at the end. Yeah. Just a, an empty cancel, showing that Monty is here to press buttons. Press them quite successfully, in exactly, fact. Exactly, yeah. We're here to keep the pressure on, advance, keep that space. We're not just going to the back of the screen, but Aquanite trying to be a little bit more aggressive as well. The round start Wild Assault really doesn't get you too much. Yeah, got the 5P out, but not quite high enough to catch the IAD. Now we have combos into the corner. This is solid for Monty right here. Empty low, nowhere to go. Into the corner and through the wall. Ooh, okay, whiff on the rainwater. We're gonna say builds up a little bit more meter, breaks it with a 5P, and now we're one touch away from another round. RC off the rainwater. No! Okay, drop on the other side. Okay. Use, about, use the RC to really center and maybe see if the burst comes out. But with just a sliver of life, it looks like Aquanite is saving it for the long game. Yeah. That makes sense. I think you're right, you know, holding on, just saying, all right, are we going to panic burst here? I'm still so ahead on the life lead that, you know, getting one more neutral track is not the worst. Counter hit to start with Aquanite, but really not too much gotten off of it. Oh, there's a command grab, Winter Mantis, from full screen, and now we're reestablishing the zoning game, just throwing these Rensons out. These normals? Oh, PRC, not too sure how to go about the conversion there off the PRC Rainwater, but all good. Basically, one touch here for Aquanite. Oh, just spectacular anti-air. Yep. Monty was telling me earlier, with the success here, Monty was telling me earlier, y yesterday in fact, yeah. that Axel is the type of character that teaches you how to anti-air with strange buttons. Okay, yeah. And it really worked out there, using the close slash on the cross up too. Yeah. Uh, it kind of doesn't matter whether on they're on the left side or the right side, close yeah. slash just coming out on the correct side when you need it in exactly. this case. Bi-directional for our, our favorite Axel Low. Yeah, I think it was it was interesting. We were seeing a lot of aggression coming out in that first game. Monty really just dictating the pace of the match. And like you're saying, right, it can be a little bit uh, weird, especially for new players picking up Axel. They're like, oh, 2H, my dedicated anti here. Of course, 2S reaching up to the sky, a little switch up there. 2S really keeping up a lot of that spacing on the screen. But man, it, it felt very difficult for Aqua Knight to try and make that approach. But let's see as we head into our next couple players. I think I see PCH, and I wonder who we got on player two side. 
And we have PCH sitting down and Jumpy McShoot on the player two side. If, I'm, like name. if I am correct uh, from who I heard behind me while I was just playing some, some casuals, casuals yeah. I think it was them. Okay. And uh, I heard them say, I don't want to play against zoners, but you're not going to have to worry because you're playing against chips enough here. This I was going to say, PCH yeah. is uh, a local chip enthusiast. Local yeah. ch well, not quite local. He's from Ottawa, yeah, Illinois, which is quite Illinois. far away. I thought you were going to say Ottawa, Canada. I was like, that's pretty far away, but... Turns out there's a uh, there's a few Ottawas over here uh, in Jeremy, North America. Up, but. up and to the left, that's where the camera is. They're yeah, is he? he's like confused, no, bro. The camera, it's right trying, there. It's they're right trying to you. show your hat. They're trying to look at the hat. He's confused. God, he's looking at the stream like, what? What's going on? <laughs> is, the, the is that Pikachu, Pikachu with a Modelo? Modelo? It's Pikachu with a Modelo. It's always Modelo time for Pikachu. But uh, Ch Chip is a character. Well, <laughs> uh, Chip is a Very character. Fast, while yeah. not necessarily a zoner, can play sort of a pseudo zoning game by playing yeah. full screen. And while not putting these active hitboxes or fireballs on screen, yeah. he uses his speed mm -hmm. to bait it and punish here. And we have Kai queuing up for Jumpy McShoot. Yeah, Kai is a character it. that I think can really sort of hold their own in that full screen game yeah. against Chip with the access to fireball, uh, the bendy sword with far slash, oh, yeah. and just putting out some preemptive buttons like 5k as sort of a stop sign to prevent Chip. But we'll have to see if Jumpy McShoot is familiar with this matchup yeah. because Chip, if you don't know what's going on, can just so easily run you over. Yeah, I think it's really interesting you bring up that pseudo zoner playstyle, right? Are we going to see a more aggressive mind cone? No, I think you're right, right? The immediate backdash trying to see if Jumpy McShoot is immediately going for the aggression here. Now stuck Ooh. up against the corner, a little too passive, gets caught out by the leaf grab. There's the hidden leaf village into a regular throw. OTG overhead. We're going through the wall. I like the immediate switch up for PCH, right? Starting it out a little slow, trying to see, okay, how are we feeling from jumping the shoot, but the passivity gotta get you opened up. 2K2D to try and escape. Oh, I'm gonna I'm calling it that was a DP, yeah. but it worked. Ooh! Nice, I like the dash that's a Fujar arc which goes so far across the screen. And just at the back dash, DP comes through though. Yeah, just yep. caught trying to escape, jumping McShoot, 5k to the face. Right. Available for PCH. Definitely ahead on the resources. Going into round number two. Catches you out of the falling button as well. Back up against the wall. We've seen this movie before. Yeah, and we've seen it time and time again. PCH gonna set up a safe jump situation here. Oh, the silly OS and the overhead. Turning it into a mix-up. We're through the wall once more. We're getting positive bonus all the time here. JH DPRC is deranged. It's evil. Backdash, deflect shield, jumpy big shoot escapes. We're gonna go through the corner. Woo! Oh no, we dropped the combo right on through. Yeah, what were we looking for? A whiff Ruja Arc into a throw maybe, but either way, PCH escapes with the Alpha Blade, about to build the 50. Even faster with the positive bonus, RCF to make sure you, no! Oh no! He's Bestie. trying to, he's trying he's to be trying a to little be... too nice with it. A little too nice with it. But oh, the no. J2K eat these plus frames. A yep. bit of a tick on the end, jumping the shoot. Goes down for the first game, and now PCH. I, I consider PCH a bit of an emotional player, but when he feel, he's feeling himself, when he feels like he's the best player in the room, yeah. he has such a high ceiling. He can uh, go so far so quickly, and there's that emotions on the sleeve, the instant burst into the corner. Knockdown burst to try and escape, but like you were saying, right at this full screen, you are not afraid to chip Zen up looking for these whips. And if you're a little bit too passive, jump right on in with a JH. No anti air found here to jump even shoot, but we are going to find the positive bonus. Barely any resources for PCA, so it's going to take a little bit, but Leaf Trap kills a lot of time. Oh, Miss DP turns into Dire Clot on the wrong side, but now we're returning to neutral here. RC to keep us safe, 5D, but returning once more to neutral after a zero situation. I see the snipe you out of the skies. Nothing really found off of it. PCH after the scramble brings you all the way over to the corner of the wall stick, too. Yeah, using the wild assault, just guaranteeing we're getting the kill. Whether or not Jumpy would use their burst, we guarantee and make sure that we get the kill as fast as possible. All right, send up far slash, able to recover in time. All good. Jump right out over the leaf grab. Yeah, but tries to go for the JS on the way down. Still gets my beat. Oh, jumping the shoot has proven that they're willing to press these buttons yeah. so often, but it just has not mattered. It's been a single button into no confirmation. And ECH turns all of these stray hits into a wall break or a corner situation. And right back to it, jumping the shoot, hard to escape. There we go, send up the sun edge, far S right behind. We're going to be able to break the wall if we want it. Just goes for that meaty setup. A little bit of a miss time here. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Don't make it you. SF6, throw loops. 
pulling up with a TK2D. No one yeah. does it three times in a row. We whip the charge stun edge there, but you know what? We're going to be generous. Call it a whip set up there to go for the BD throw, but PCH still on life point. Oh, and there's the mix up. PCH loves that one. Yep. Unfortunate drop there still on the offense. Oh, fuzzy throw tech turns into an offensive posture here for Jumpy Mix. Shoot! Oh. Oh, RC. No burst to bait up against the wall here. Oh. And there's the quick burst. There's more. We're going to be able to go through the wall. I don't know if this is going to kill. We're so close, though. Oh, OS time. Touch here in chip damage territory as well. Oh, he's going to do it again. I feel it. Oh, I could be wrong. Is this the is this the kill? This is it. Oh, no. so close. One health apiece. First available for Jumpy Big Shoot. Careful of the deflect shield as well. 50 meter. Gold Burst finds nothing. Shuriken for the kill, possibly. You gotta be wary of Chip here. That's chip and Chip. Electricity. Oh. There's the air dash no. in. Fuzzy throw attempt. Jumpy Mix Shoot falls to PCH. He was trying to get a little cute with it at yep. the end. A little cute with it, but manages to seal victory for Team Buttholes. Yep. TBH, two <laughs> kills to zero. The KDA looking pretty strong right there. Yeah, trying to be a little, you know, tricky, a little goofy with the Shuriken stalls there. The projectile wars, fortunately, not going to work out for Jumpy. Doing a little bit better going into that game number two, especially starting to, you know, show some of those offensive mm. sequences, feel a little bit more comfy and neutral. But either way, PCH able to escape every single time. So heading into it, we are in our potential last set of this team battle in particular. So we got, uh, who we got? Randy versus. We have Randy Valor. Let's. Check the Check handy the dandy. We have Randy Valor versus Ugly. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Ugly. I swear it's his hat. For the people watching at home, that is indeed the player's tag. They chose it. They're rocking it. And all right, who we got? So Randy, hovering over the million right now. But Randy is a soul player, tried oh, okay, and true. Okay. Loves to play the mustard soul, yellow soul. Mustard soul. That's what he calls it. That's what he calls it. Um, it's, uh, it's a creative color for sure. Yeah, Randy just has a lot of really odd soul and strange color. tech. Uh, in his back pocket. Okay. He can show it. Uh, a lot of it is perhaps a little too silly. Yeah. But yeah, he is yeah. definitely uh, a well-controlled and calm player okay. in the heat of things. Uh, he's a soldier of the silly, but he can lock in when needed. Okay. Yeah, he's got strong confirms, yeah. strong patience, and is just fully happy to play that full-screen game. Okay. But he is a little out of practice. He has been... Mm out of town for so many weeks in a row. So we'll I have see, to see man. if he's up to change. the task to Duel beat Ugly one. here on the Potemkin. All right. Ugly's got a lot of weight on his shoulders right now, right? The last remaining member of Team DePaul fighting for their lives. Of course, it is Rod Robinson, so you're not going to be eliminated here, but still want to put an extra game on that win count as we head to game number one. Sticking out the two piece, we're going to Mega Miss right on over the gun. Ugly playing patient two. The back dash out, the instant burst, Ugly is ready to play their game. But right now, Randy Velour, burst for burst, yep. counter hit too. Yeah, I really wants to keep that corner situation. I say as we wild throw you back out to mid screen, run up for the 2K, tick throw once again. Ugly is one throw RC away, but PRC keeps you safe right outside of the protected buster. Ooh. Oh, there's the silly. There's the silly <laughs> coming out. He loves wild throw. The straight face when you say silly is insane. He's laughing in his own head, but he's got the stone cold expression. We head to round number two. DP goes through the armor, but because you're off the ground, you're able to escape. Oh, we missed yep. the meaty. Whether or not it was on purpose, we get the wild throw. <laughs> Clean hit here. Okay. Okay, ugly telling us. How's it feel, Randy? How's it feel yep. to get thrown like that? Yeah, a little shallow in the hammer fall afterwards. I think we've seen so much DP coming out from Randy oh, that it. we're just afraid to be in rain. <laughs> Don't even want to go into your optimal spacing. And now we are one game away from the clean sweep from TPH. Yeah, we got the wild throw coming in three whole times. Yep. Three whole times. Who's the real grappler here, Nostro? I'm, I'm a little confused on the archetype Dude, here. People have been saying since the beginning, Soul's the best grappler in the game. It's true. He got some great mobility, some buttons to try and keep you out, but six feet to try and keep that jump in back down to the ground. Oh, we broke the hammer fall. He's got clipped. Randy Valor now on the offensive posture. Yeah, the gunplay just barely saving you with that second hit, breaking right through the armor. This is going to break right through the glass. Another wall stick into the super. No. Drop the super input. Got yeah. heavy volcanic viper instead. Over the JD. Another okay. scoop up. It's set point. Okay. 
You know, next thing we next thing we know, Randy Floor is going to be breaking out the Heavy Mob Cemetery. Oh, he broke up a Heavy, all right. He got the counter hit 5-8. Once again, up against the corner. Grabs the deflect shield. Barely any burst for Ugly here. I don't know, you got 50. Okay. <laughs> okay, Ugly is getting a read here. Wake up PB, no jelly. All right, never fall right in your face. Based on the DP, but you still had RC behind it. Yo, the team BH is playing a little crazy right now. <laughs> Oh, just getting meaty gut punch, and Randy Velour seals it out for a 3 zero victory. Yeah, clean sweep here over Team DePaul. They fought for their lives. There were definitely some close games and sets going on there, but yeah, Team BH playing absolutely out of their minds. Playing really right, strong. It's another game, yeah. Playing quite strong. Uh, DePaul not out of it yet. Exactly. As you mentioned earlier, this is a round robin. We have six full teams, yeah. and a lot of really great players signed up today, and you probably tuned into them earlier. The very first set we had uh, the, the team neutral skip. It yeah. was Chris Chaos, Vega, and Trevward. Three incredible players. Chris Chaos, t deep runs recently at TNS. Yes. Uh, yeah. Trevward make, uh, made a Push big appearance. up to not, you know, confuse the muscle memory. Elvin Shadow, a Faust devotee here, headed up against the Nagori Yuki. Yeah, we saw in the previous set that Elvin Shadow was up. Yeah. He fought against Trevward, a talented Nagori Yuki player. Yeah. And it was a convincing 2-0 yeah. versus Trev. Duel and we'll have to see what Snowy has as a response to that. He got got to see the data. He got to see what was going on. But this is generally considered a tough matchup for Nagori Yuki. Yeah, we already had the mini Faust in the first 10 seconds of the game. Not looking too great. The banana peel slips up. That's the first coming out here. Slithering through the air. Sets up the command throw. The shape up. The afro. Oh, the empty low too. Faust already. The Afro stuck up against the wall here. Elven Shadow about to go to 50 after this next oh. interaction, but doesn't get the chance. No J2K here. Swipe the skies with 2H. Calling under the 2H here. 50% on both of our players. All right, RC to try and keep up the pressure with the J2K. Snowy fighting back. Well, there's the blood pop. They weren't ready for it. Snowy overextending yeah. on their special cancels. A little mismanaged. Smiling to himself. He's like, all right, you got me. Oh, Forgot to keep track a little bit, but does find the counter hit 6P. The karate chop. There he goes. Send out the scalpel. Scalpel going. Send a bit of love our way. Yeah. Oh, and some extra love with yeah. the afro on deck. Exactly. The upgraded bomb bag not able to stop the approach. So mini Faust. The Faust Parade just coming right on through, forcing you to the corner. Holding on to the burst, so you the saw the blood! Oh. oh, not close enough for the punish. Good yeah. piloting by Elven Shadow. Not even a huge punish on the blood burst, too. Yeah, it's lethal there, but it's all good. You have RC to keep this back up. Anything kills, like confirmed. Don't even need the wall break for game number one. And this is just Elven Shadow showing his pedigree yeah. as not only a Faust player, as a fighting game player, as a Guilty exactly. Gear player. And while he may not play a lot of Strive consistently, he's showing that he is up to the task of competition when the time calls for him. Yeah, exactly. Of course, Nagori Yuki, one of the characters <laughs> introduced his... Oh my god, you just got away with 10 item pulls! That was so that was many like Mario items. Party over there. Dude, everything and the kitchen sink out here. Yep. Holy jeez. And I mean, I guess the patience makes sense with Snowy, right? You know, so many times you try and make your approach, try and look for these anti airs getting caught out by Elven Shadow. So playing a little bit more passive, going into game number two, but it's really not working out for you. So much tempo taken off of these free item options. Good awareness of the timing on the bomb, able to maneuver around it. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this burst. He's so behind on the life lead, but anything to try and escape. Now it's set point with the perfect for Elven Shadow. Nagori Yuki may be a big boy, but with no burst left almost, it's hard to really contest this long range game, too. Okay, keep the hammer. Got some carpentry tools available as needed. Send it out for the double bounce. Still able to see here right on through. I like the timing from Snowy. And changing up their J2K into the love bag afterwards. Gets the pickup off the bounce. No OTG. Turning it into a brawl break anyway. Ooh. Oh, tried to break the shins, but it didn't work out. Yeah, that is an unfortunate win, but still mini Faust. If nobody got me the bodyguard, do one more hit. Look to be the mercy for Elven Shadow. Ooh. Oh, and it doesn't come out. Snowy sent to the spectator seat. Off to the bleachers. Yep for team three baddies and a Porsche. Yeah, the Porsche is still there, but waiting out back. Two baddies still available here, two lives. Looks like we're having Jokernaut and Thana showing up. Okay. This is gonna be Bridget versus Faust, respectively.
Oh, and now, okay. I, I am a Bridget enjoyer myself. Yes. As a How Bridget, are we feeling about the matchup? As a Bridget enjoyer, I do not like the Faust matchup. <laughs> I would imagine, right? Uh, Bar S, 5H, you, uh, you know, you whiff that on Crawl, and you're like, wow. The, the key interactions The key interactions is the Crawl and J2K is just so hard to contest. Yeah. But it's also a similar situation as a lot of characters. Once you get the knockdown, every matchup's the same. Yeah, exactly. And Bridget is an Oki Zeme monster. Yeah, especially when you're on defense as a character with no DP. Without the 50 meter behind it, you're like, how am I trying to escape? But like you're saying, right, it's finding that first knockdown, especially when Faust can be so tricky with the air movement and just crawling right under to try and advance on that space. Yeah, and I have played Joker Knot uh, quite a few times. Okay. Uh, played casuals here and there, played in yeah, tournament. Yeah. He, has, he has a solid understanding of the Bridget matchup. Okay. Uh, I think it can get through the base level of Bridget. I'm not sure how Thana plays. I haven't seen a lot of their play, and I haven't played them in tournament. Yes. So we'll have to see whether or not they know the intricacies of the matchup. Because I, uh, I think that's really where it comes down to. Yeah. If you're able to overcome the mountain or the uh, trickiness that is Faust. Yeah, and I would imagine on the Faust side, right, you know, if you're not familiar with it either, yes, you know, you can try and contest, figure out the crawl and the J2K on the way, but you know, something that you you, you run into far S, you run into 5H, and it's so tricky, they get the, you know, free yo-yo set on you as well if you're playing a little bit too passive, but all right, quick little button check, make sure everything is all good before we head on into it. Just making sure that the buttons work correctly. I've exactly. definitely queued up for a tournament set where I messed up my buttons yeah. and really shook my head Man, about it. Luckily, my opponents have been society. quite gracious because it's only happened at the local. But oh, okay, okay. They're like, I get it, man. It, it happens. I was talking with uh, Callisto yesterday, and he was like, yeah, I was uh, I was running casual sets, you know, just trying to grind with some of the uh, Japanese players when they were over for Grand Blue, and we were just running rotations in the, uh, you know, in one of the hotel rooms, and then he was getting 5 out. He's like, what's going on? He realized his guard button <laughs> was not mapped, and he was like, oh, oh no, no. I've, I've embarrassed myself and made myself a fool. He's like, practically jokes with them, he finally uh, binds the guard button, is able to get a few games on some of the other folks in the rotation. Gamera comes back up. He's like, all right, I got 5 would by him before, but now that I have a guard button, I'm a new man. I'm Super Saiyan Callisto right now. He still gets 5 out. <laughs> he's like, well, he's just that much better. Dude, That's how it goes. Gamera is just he's such, nasty, a, it is such a gamer. It's in his yeah, name. Exactly, yeah. It's in his name. He's like he's a rank gamer. He's He is gamer A. He's the A gamer. <laughs> the first in the alphabet, first of his name. So good. Anyways, <laughs> Thana versus Joker Nod. Joker yep. Nod, uh, a fan of what I would consider non-standard characters in fighting games. Okay. Although he does play Cami in Street Fighter VI, so I don't okay. know. If that what else does he play out. aside? But from like Cammy, his, his main games that I've seen him play, uh -huh. uh, other than Guilty Gear, was Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Fighters. Ooh. If you were tuned into TNS yesterday, you would have yeah. seen the Dragon Ball Team uh, exhibition. Yeah. Joker not. Uh, Is he like a hit player, like a beer no, he, player? Who's he, he plays. Playing? He plays Frieza. <laughs> he plays Frieza. <laughs> he plays Frieza. That's uh, a funny character, bro. Frieza's such a funny character. Yeah. He's quite quite good with the freeze. He took a few games, I'm pretty sure. Okay. But we'll see if he can take a few games here coming in on the Guilty Gear Strive side of things yep. here versus Thana. No Frieza to be found, but you're on the stream set. I hope you don't freeze up under the pressure set number two for this team battle. You can also see he's Man, queued up with Purple Oh, okay. So, uh, maybe a Frieza homage. So Fre Frieza Enjoyer, maybe yeah, right. sticking with the purple. Let the angels rock as we skate on in. Bridge has got a fun intro. She does, yeah. I'm a, f I'm a fan of John. I think Johnny's intro is the coolest. Oh, it's it. Yeah, Johnny's player one side desert. intro. You get the tumbleweed, dude. Straight out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Get the Neo Morricone in the background. Oh. <laughs> and uh, all right. Game number one here. Thana versus Jokernaut. Yeah, immediately setting up their yo-yo, trying to see how the Faust responds. Tries to roll on in a little bit aggressive, but immediately using the burst on both sides. Hundred ton weight. Just run up 6P, Thana just trying to prove with those mid buttons. Oh, Ooh. not. Be careful of the bombs. Oh, just, just out of range. range. Yeah. I was wondering if we needed to route to the roll to try and escape, but Thana just waiting patiently, confident in the spacing. But now, back up against the wall, Meteor Shower right behind. Yeah. We're going to be able to get the Meteor, whether or not they're trying to beat the RC. Yep. They still got counter hits. And Joker not first round in their favor. All right, eat the mini bounce. We got it stocked up for the next interaction. Caught out for the yo-yo recall. Oh, and there's the Ooh. the hit, but no con, no full knockdown. Yeah, a little drop at the end there. That is unfortunate. You had the opportunity to you know set up that looping mix like you were saying, right? It can be tricky to try and navigate, but you have to make the most of these hits when you get them. Joker not finds a two H on the approach. 
Ooh, he's got the trumpet on deck. Still picks it up. Slap. The kindergarten class on the march out of the game. Jokernaut, one to zero versus Yeah, they went for a field trip on the corpse there. Game at number one, like you said, over to the Faust, but all right, let's see if we can set up the conversions here for Thana, right? Able to get a few key wins in the neutral, but not able to convert as well as we'd like. And these little missteps in tempo for Thana proving quite tricky versus Jokernaut, trying to press out. Oh, and there's one in his favor, too. Trying to get the batter, batter swing. Yep. Now that drop I understand, right? We had the hammer coming down. We didn't want to roll in for a break or anything, try and risk getting hit out of our own combo. Now we're trying to play the zoning game, but you've got to be careful. 50 meter available, PRC Scarecrow has to be on the brain. Oh, counter hit against the far slash. And now Joker not. Puts it on set point. Trying to send Thano away to the bleachers. Joker not taking it 100% serious right now. Trying to make it a clean 3-0 sweep. Send the bomb back. I like the evasive movement right on over the explosion, but I do the mid screen. I have to imagine that's not what you're looking for. Yeah, that would have been a crucial 2-H, but the bomb back saved him. Yep. A little aerosol action, yeah. the explosion. A little snip snip on the hood. Here's the meaty. No, we go for the cross up. The ERC to bait the burst yep. and Joker not. Two quick ones versus Thana. And now Team Buff Faust up 2-0. to zero. There we go, clean with it. I think we were talking about the neutral interactions being difficult, but once we get the offense started, it should be, you know, relatively straightforward for Bridget. I think Nana focused a lot on how do we win these neutral interactions, that when we finally got the hit, not ready for those confirms, you know, and leaning into that biggest strength of, like you said, Bridget being that Okizeme monster, but fought for their life here, and now it's two lives down for three baddies and a Porsche. Now it's one car, one baddie left fighting against the rest of Team Buff Faust. And we have Woz Nerd sitting down versus Black Snake. I saw Black Snake playing Ava earlier, but yeah. Woz Nerd, they're an Axel player. Ooh, so this this might be a difficult matchup, right? Abba, of course, <laughs> yeah. one of those characters who's like, okay, once I'm able to get this meter, if I'm able to get some smart parries, I'm running in with the Jealous Rage, and you are powerless to stop it until my meter runs out. But, yeah. you know, Axel definitely one of those characters who can make it so annoying on any given opportunity. Oh, is he going to zone me out? Am I going to be whipped on the parry and get counter hit for it? Or is he going to run in, you know, play with my expectations of the zoner and just start rushing me down and I have no opportunity to try and fight back? Yeah, and I believe Black Snake. I've seen them playing a, a bunch of the previous Guilty Gears. Yeah. I've seen the name many, many times. I'm trying. Can't is that quite. The Venom shirt too. I think the logo on the back. I could be wrong. Maybe that's a different eye insignia. Oh, no. But uh, yeah, on the back, that definitely looks like a Venom. That lo looks like the Venom insignia. And I see a Black Snake coming out of it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay maybe, maybe they just really love the Venom. Yeah. Maybe the Ven Venom enjoyer. That's but, true. But uh, no Venom proxy is really in Strive right now. Playing the ABBA. Yep. Choosing a different color. We have Goth ABBA rather than Denim ABBA as they <laughs> queued up previously. Jabba? <laughs> J Jabba the Hutt. Dude. Oh, I guess so. A little Star Wars action. All right. Heading back on into it. Sip of the drink. Stay hydrated as we head into game number one. Fighting for your team's glory right now. The last remaining member. The last yeah. baddie. And we saw Black Snake versus Chris earlier. Yep. They didn't have a lot of opportunities to get started. Chris just no. sort of walling Man, them out, using fundamentals to not let them get started in Jealous so Rage. We'll have to see on if they when they do the get beasts. started, they can turn it into a round and then a game. In fact. Yeah. But it's going to be Axel. even harder because versus Axel, too. Yes. Because I think for Axel, right, this could be, oh, okay, for 90% of the match, you're zoning them out. They're taking so much damage on their approach. And then finally, if you're able to get a Jealous Rage, you really could run away with it with a couple, you know, good Okizeme sequences. She is not lacking for damage as long as you have it confirmed, but it's being able to get that one chance. She has an 18-frame overhead in conjunction with even something as simple as a 2K starter can do, like, 50% of your life with no meter spent. It's insane. I like the immediate spend on the Blue Wild Assault. Just trying to go a little bit crazy here. Doesn't find anything off of it though. Waiting for that burst to come back out. We have all the time in the world for the Charge Tornado. Yeah, they're trying to put out that parry too. Black Snake, yeah. aware of what's going on in neutral. Not quite working out just yet, but it's all about getting set up here. And we're yeah. trying to make this work. But Abba, without Jealous Rage, she just can't move. Yeah, it's scary. And you can also go for the manual install, right? If you're a little bit safer on the full screen or off of a knockdown. But one, how are you going to get that normal load knockdown? And two, lots of points on the screen. Axel is able to challenge you if you try and go into that install. So, oh my gosh, finally finds a counter hit here in the mid screen. But you got to do it one more time after the burst. Yeah. Oh, 
when using the high profile there on the 236A and gets yeah. in there. Hop skipping the jump. We got the Jealous Rage. We got the Moraha available. We're jumping back on in. Double overhead catches you out here. Oh, able to save the meter too. They were just on the verge of turning. Yep. Get a little bit back when you do the manual uninstall, fighting for it. Both first run up. We're really trying to go for it. Gets the throw. <laughs> Black Snake. Oh my god. And it's like we said before heading into the match, right? 90% of it, uh, Wasner can be in control, but if you're able to get that first knockdown, and of course, you know, be really smart about managing the uh, the Moraha resources as well. You really just keep looping into itself. Yeah, trying to press between the frames. Yep. Counter it into the corner, but Axel, not a high damage character. A simple far slash isn't going to lead to a lot and catches the low profile there. Opposite the BD Tornado, full charge, deflect shield, no wild assault available for Black Snake. I think you're not too upset about sacking this round when you're already one round up. If we want to try and live longer, I think that's going to be the key here because we're so close to just the 50% of burst. If we can get more and more, it's going to be so good in the long run. Yeah, at least now you can threaten the blue wild assault on, uh, you know, round start. One round apiece here. Wozner has the full burst available as well. Oh, just getting a bit of a snackery. Yeah, he's got the snake shack ready. Dude, what's the shack? Snake shack. Snake shack. Snake shack versus black snake, dude. Are they are, are they in cahoots? I don't know. It's a don't tread on these situations. Trying to get the pressure started. Triple intertwine the two and 4K coming up huge. The two six rather. Yeah, and that's only minus one with a four frame two P. You can really just start mashing after that. Yeah, it's evil. Keep a little RPS going on there. Trying to make your way on in. We have a lot of bar available for Black Snake as well, but when are you going to get a chance to go for the install? Yeah, here's the start. We got the YRC going. We're in the corner. Yep. Guard crushes. Oh, a bit of a tricky high-low situation. Eat these plus frames. Eat these plus frames. Oh, second hit. Ooh. Here we go, JH at the top rope. Trying to keep you locked on this corner, and especially wait out this corner. How waits out the deflect shield. The full bait counter hit takes the first game here for Wozner. Wozner showing that they're not going down without a fight, but once we give them that room, it's all about that jealous rage. And when we have the space and the meter to set up, it's going to be tough to keep her out. Wozner just not batting an eye yep. once Black Snake has entered jealous rage either. Yeah, and I like that Black Snake is, uh, you know, pretty comfortable trying to keep up the normal mode pressure. We're not seeing immediate blue wild assault into the install like we see a lot in some pressure sequences. We're really trying to get as much meter as we can. Do we have enough time for the manual uninstall? No. Now we're we're going to be able to get some key normals going yep. to build some Dell's Rage if possible. But the first, just sending them full screen, low resources. We have 100 tension, though. We can send out the Kraken. Ooh. Block a little late on the block portion though. 100 meter, like you said, available. We could see the K Super to try and go for some counter zoning into an oh. install, but still no meter behind it. One vision available. Gonna be going through the wall. Not enough to kill here. But there are about 5% life left. Cold burst. Ben's still holding on. Meter, but the rainwater, the evasion coming out, and Wozner now on. Set and match point. Yeah, there we go. Life point. If you're able to make it through Black Snake, you just have Elven Shadow waiting in the wings. Oh, trying to use the parry. Build a little meter if we can. There we go. ID back. Trying to play a little bit slower now. Yeah, comes first out. into the install. The JH clean confirmed. We'll have to see how they spend their Jealous Rage. We're almost out, too. Oh, no. It was such a clean confirm up until the drop at the end. Could have gone for a wall splat into the uninstalled key grab, but still keeping the pressure on. We stood up a little bit too early. Here we go, Jealous Rage once more. <laughs> Whip right over into the back, though. Keeps you back into the corner once again with the wall splat. Black Snake still fights back. We were tied on rounds here. Yeah. We got a full burst in the bag, though, for Wozenerd, so... It's going to be tough for Black Snake to make it through. Yeah, not only are you not unable to escape a counterfeit situation from Axel, you don't have Blue Wild Assault, which is a really good way to keep up the pressure and also find the install opportunity. Yeah, it's genuinely one of her fastest movement options. Yeah. Oh, that 5H, it pushes her back so far. Yeah, the pushback. Oh, Ooh. punishes the Winter Mantis. Made on through, past the tornado. Weather conditions be dead. YRC falling all the way down, able to JH. Gets punished, does not manage the meter well. We get a little back, we can enter Jealous Rage, eat these plus frames. Oh, 6H comes out, but doesn't escape the corner. 
Excellent stall off of the knockdown there. Donzai didn't save you. Still a lot of health to work with, but barely any meter in the Jealous Rage, so Black Snake gets just a one more hit. Yeah, we have 50 seconds here. It's all about whether or not Wozner can get those chip, the chip in or get these hits to be able to even up the life, because Black Snake is just not getting clicked. Yeah, playing super slow here. Really not trying to risk on the parry and risk uh, also getting counter hit, but speaking to the risk, it is cranked right now. Trying to take from the skies. Nothing found at the K Super, but at least you're plus. Oh, there's a flip. We didn't spend any sort of resources here. There's the RC trying to bait a burst. Rock strong knows you're looking at that burst. Still no jealous rage meter available. This is so tough. We could just get chipped to death so easily. Ooh. The BR, the B Wild Assault coming out and killing? The blah! All the way from downtown. No jealous rage, <laughs> but we had the movement options. Even the rest of the team is like, damn, that was that was kind of nasty. Heading into game number three here. This could be the last game for this team, but we've been seeing Wazir holding on strong here for three baddies in the port. Yeah, this is just fighting and scrapping here in this set. Right, so Jerry, nothing found up the explosion, but does run up for the counter hit. We we're looking for the throw tech there from Black Snake, but just a little bit too late. Yeah, that IB on Wake Up actually worked so well for Black Snake. Yeah. Not getting pushed away too far. JS counter hit, though. That JD's changing the air momentum. Mixing it up a little bit. 50% meter, but you really don't have any opportunity to safely go for it. Right behind the tornado, no challenge on the buttons from Wozner. That's a win if I'm Black Snake. If I'm yeah. Black Snake, I'm taking that to the bank. Yeah, you got a little bit of damage here, but now an empty meter, barely any way to try and build it back up. I don't think we spent any burst here to try and bring this back, and a 5B once again puts Wozner on life point. Checking the 236k. Yep. Great low crush option. Great on counter hit too. Yep. But unfortunately, not enough in this situation. And now Wozner trying to send Black Snake to the bleach. Yeah, I got great chance on the JS on hit. 2H counter hit. Take a decent amount of life here, but no burst I have to worry about. Route to the Donzai. Oh, he grab. Do it again. Ooh, no more flash. I think they were hoping that that was wall stick so they could go for it once more. <laughs> the 2B, like you said, so devious, but still not able to flat up against the wall. You're looking for that key grab. Axel 2K just coming in close <laughs> like it does. Run up throw. Look at the speed on her. Oh my god. We're so used to the normal mode not being able to dash block out of the red sun explosion, but definitely in the install, the unlocked ABBA more than enough. Oh no, punish. Ooh, try to go for the 2B. Maybe catch out the air and jump attempt. Burst. Trying to bait up first, Wozenerd not taking it and saving it to the last game, last round of their set here. Three. All right, Black Snake one round away from sealing it out for the team. Nice, I like the far slap. Immediately saw the full burst and said, I know you're looking for the blue wild assault, but all you're seeing is red off the explosion. For such a beefy looking combo that only did about 40%. Yeah. Not too much. Abba, one of the surprisingly tankier characters in the cast, right? Has to be a little more durable to survive that normal mode. Running on through the Jealous Rage, gonna get fully ran through Wozner. No, oh, does it pick up? Okay. Oh. That was a BH clencher right there. Dude. It really was, yeah. <laughs> Still able to hold on, but you're staying on the sand. You're the last Wins. member of the three baddies in the Porsche, so you are fighting until you're out here fighting for the team, and you got the rest of the homies cheering you on from the Porsche. I Let's see Joker not. <laughs> I see Joker not stepping up to the plate here. Okay, so we're gonna be seeing some fast versus actual action. It's gonna be the same matchup regardless. Yeah, same matchup regardless. I have I've never seen uh, Joker not or Alvin Shadow playing a different character in yeah. Strive at least. There's there's no counter picks from them. They're Faust enthusiasts. They're locked in. It, like if you play Faust, you kind of only play Faust. I feel that's what I'm saying. Like if you're a Faust enjoyer, a Faust enthusiast, do you really have you do you really have it in your soul? To play a different off. character. You're here for the wacky. You're here for the silly. Tears be damned. I'm playing fast. I mean, he's, he's, a he's less silly in this game. He's more he's more on the creepy side, dude. Yeah. There's some. If you look past like the the creepy, he's got a lot of silly in him. But definitely, definitely a big departure from his previous iteration. Yeah. Right. They went from rom com to rom com to like survival horror. I feel dude. like it's. It's. Have you seen? Um, how am I forget? How am I forgetting the name of the movie? It won the Oscar. Bong Joon Ho. Uh, oh, the, not old boy. The, the, the Korean, the Korean movie. How am I forget? I'm blanking out. It's Parasite. A Parasite. Parasite. It is Parasite. Okay. Thank, thank you, Burr, in the background. 
Well, thank, thank you, thank you, Bert, for telling <laughs> us. It's, it's the commission, but par it was Parasite. It was Parasite. <laughs> it was Parasite. It yeah. starts out like a really silly, goofy movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then, then it spirals down. Spirals out of control into something that is so like stressful. That's, I feel like that's probably what we're going to be Faust seeing with arc, this matchup, dude. right? No, that's the Faust arc. It, 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 oh, that's his character arc. Okay. It started out as Mr. Goofy, Dr. Baldhead. Uh huh. Turn into Goofy Man Faust with a paper bag, and now he's this creepy eldritch monster with a galaxy in his stomach. There we go. Joker not trying to seal it up for the team. We still have Elven Shadow waiting in the wings, but not trying to make it that far. Wasn't still fighting as the last remaining member of three baddies. Yeah, and we talked about the low profile in previous uh, matchups, but with a tool like 2H, it's not going to be as much of a threat here in yes. this set. It's just going to be all about wh how Wozner deals with these really strange situations that I, uh, that Faust really likes to put you in. Yeah, Joker now tries to pull up with the mix, mix, mix. Nothing found, so a tornado of your own runs up for the whip throw. Two plus for your own good, so you get Mogu Mogu back throw for your troubles. Did he still press throw even though he saw the RC? Yep. What a brave man. Oos. Loses the corner though. 2K out. Yeah, Axel player. Ooh, tries to go for the windmill. Thought you would swing on the uh, attempt at the cherry. Found though. We've got the afro yep. in our in our bellies. Playing this neutral game. Ooh, I oh, can't depressing. believe that throw. Whiff just barely out of range with the walk back. Oh, and he bursts too. Almost a 50 percent tension. Not. Yeah, not really trying to hold on for this round. Avoid the banana peel. Caught up with the fast parade, but just a little bit too slow. JH from the top rope. All right, Wozner. Yeah, about 20% first for, uh, for Jokernaut here. Inside, caught up with the close slash. Oh, there's the haircut. Yep. Snip, snip, snip. Yeah, you're so afraid of the hammer coming out from the top rope that you opened yourself up to the throw. Afro explosion here. Already 50% lost from Wozner. Yeah, that was a bit of a later burst. We have less than 50% of our life left. Yeah. So if we go to this last round, it might be tough. Ooh. On the dome, the flaming syringe, hundreds on weight. Ooh, swiping at the skies, but wasn't staying grounded. Finds the 2K 2D, but really not much pressure off of it. Joker not doing a good job of maneuvering through neutral here, making himself unpredictable. But this is like the third time he's gotten punished on the mix, 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 spending the deflect shield. Slides down the sky with the 5P, stomped on mini fast <laughs> by accident. My fault, didn't see you there. Ooh, into the bombs though. Oh, that almost combo. That would have been so sick. I good know. Winter oh. Mantis into the bomb explosion. Whiff on the snail. No, that's not the routing you need. Black Snake lives for another round. We're into this last round. Joker not on 50% of their first. Yep, set point two. Wozenerd almost onto their last, onto their full burst, though. Yep. Sorry, game point out. rather. 50% burst available. Yeah, probably not going to see the Blue Wild Assault. Really haven't seen that a lot from Black Snake. The 6H connects, giving ourselves a bit of pressure going in. That JH paying off dividends for Wozner. Ooh, from the 2H, yeah, too far for that one. The far slash, B, R, C. Escape with the burst. Oh, the primal earth. To PRC Faust Scarecrow. Player to, Fa to Scarecrow fast <laughs> RC, dude. Faust players only want one thing. And it's a very fast option, I'll tell you what. Take this guy to the J2K, caught out of the 5K attempt. Burst comes out from Wazner, trying to fight to hold on to Ivy, just barely blocked the cross up in time. Oh, that JH contesting on the jump slash versus Wozner. Yep. Coming now, down more to fire. Ooh, no RC behind it, but you got the 5D oh. bomb. No explosion required. Game of the board here for a Black Snake. Swing, bada bada, swing. There we go. Joker not. Putting one up on the board. Wozner fighting for his teammates. Trying to just stay alive. Yeah, trying to hold on. Keep the team's pride up. Take to the skies with the JS. Maybe now with the cherry bomb, but we escape with the scarecrow. No PRC required. Winter Mantis actually connecting. Oh, fantastic gold burst though. We're gonna get some positive meter bonus after that. Yep. 5P stuffed the bomb right back into the gullet. Has the afro available. Looking for a bomb bag. And here comes the Big old Ooh. love. Escapes like, it too. It bounces so far as well. We see the IAD from Wazner, and I like that choice. Back out to the mid screen. Avoid the bomb bag as well. Barely any health for Joker. Not 50% available. RC kills. Oh, still worked out. The PRC giving 
them the reaction, despite yep. missing the JH on the way up. And the JD on the way down, that is crazy. Wozner looking for this reverse sweep, but still, you have a lot of routes to go. Caught up with the fishing pole burst available. Oh, not quite on the green for that one. No. Ooh, sick throw. Here's the pressure coming in for Wozner. There's the whip, empty throw. Don't make it three, JH. Yeah, no soaring strike. Knows that you're flying too high above the sky to get caught. Get the mix up here. Quick overhead. Gets the counter hit. Setting up mini Faust. No shenanigans between the hits, too. Oh, and there's Six the first. Point blank. The block on the overhead. Good eyes on the screen. Eyes on the screen. Boots on the ground. <laughs> mini Faust is pissed. Got caught out with a 2 H. Caught out with BRC Square Girl once again. Joking on. Not enough resources to kill just yet. One situation game here. This might do the kill. Oh no, maybe could have run into RC. One vision, but all you need is the one throw for one apiece. Yeah, and we got one more try here yep. to stay alive. Woe's nerd. One to one here versus Joker now. Damn right, go for the reverse sweep or die. Trying, holding the hopes of your team on your back. Still, we can see Joker Dana real excited in the background. Yep. You got to cheer on the homies. That's part of the team tournament as well. Not only playing your heart out, but also keeping the team morale. Speaking of the morale here from the Faust Parade, brings you all the way over to the corner. Well, there's a the Witcher Mage. I swear, Wozner has 100% success rate versus Jokernov using Witcher Mage. It just works. And yeah, already for the cold. It's getting a little bit warmer here in Chicago. Fighting your way back out with the Afro Bomb Bag. Does find contact too. Jumping right over the 5P. We have offense started. The Guard Crush holding the scalpel in their face. And now, back to full screen. Yeah, right, yeah. right when we're back, right when we get out, we're right back in, dude. Yeah, a little overzealous with the Rensen, right? You have to respect that 50 meter. I feel like Wozner a couple times has been good about blocking the cross up. But no, the Scarecrow once again seals your fate. This could be set point. Joker not poised to take it here. Yep. But the full burst from Wozner, not uh, no major expenditures there from them. Ooh. Backdash is out from Edward Scissorhands. Scissor yeah, you're gonna with the command grab there. No snip, 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 but we do find the Mogu Mogu back throw into the wall. Wazner still has full burst available. Looking for the 50, but all you get is another throw. That's two in a row here. Ooh, run up 2K, no one ever does three. Bit of a threatening walk up. Yeah. Just trying to make them scared in their boots Ooh. here. Nice, I like the challenge with the 2K2D. Finds the punish. Oh, that was an aggressive burst here for Joker Nod. Ooh. Nice, I love the use of the Ren Send there, trying to play the volleyball preemptively against the bomb. That was one hit for Jokernaut, blocks the Scarecrow. 5k to check it. Jokernaut, very little burst going to this last round, but we do have the increased burst gain rate yeah. from Season 3, so who knows what's going to happen. Yeah, you can try and stall out. stall out. We're really using a lot of the Scarecrow here, even without the 50 meter behind it, back up against the wall, but got to be careful. Danger of the negative penalty. And he Ooh. fouls on the backup, keeping him safe. But now we're trying to initiate offense. Oh, once again. Ooh, side to the JS. Nah, yeah, that's the second time we've seen a drop on the snail here. Scary, lost a little bit of tempo for it. Didn't get to escape the corner, but 2K 2D for the side swap. We're into the corner here. Funny tornado. Send the JS. BRC Scarecrow once again. We've seen it before. We'll see it again. First out from Axel. Plus frames going. Hey. Punish. Ooh. Yeah, just barely didn't build up the 50 for it. Bomb bag between you and me. Mini Faust stocked up, but when are you going to get the chance to send him on the screen? Negative penalty for Joker not sent out. And we are down to our final set here. Wozner takes it 2 1, and now Elven Shadow's got to tap in and lock in for his team. Good old Papa Faust has to step in and save the kids. Papa Faust. Papa Faust, the uh, the one-hour <laughs> delivery with the garlic sauce on the side. Fighting for your life. Dude, Wozner just kind of tearing it up right now. He's warm in the matchup, too. I'm saying. But Elven Shadow, different beast. The The way that Jokernaut and Elven sort of move is a little bit different. We saw yeah. Jokernaut a little more defensive on the item pulls, even seeing the negative penalty come out in that last round. Yeah. But Elven Shadow, well adept at utilizing these items as an offensive tool and yes. a neutral control here using the items to just push the opponent towards the corner yeah exactly sometimes you know you see the fast players pull up and they're just like oh if it's trumpet then i have to pull up and try and take it or side swap if it's bomb i'm gonna play this bomb rps but you know really going into that layer two of like oh okay 
What is my opponent's reaction to this? What is the counterplay to the counterplay? Assuming that they're warmed up on the matchup, which clearly Wozner is yeah. after that previous set, right? So how do we take it to that next level? It's all, all right. about these interplays. It's all about these items, and we'll have to see the navigation coming out. But this is this is this isn't his home game. This isn't Elven no. Shadow's home game. So there is perhaps a little bit of shaky room. We'll have to see how familiar we are, because. He's he's the Xer player. He's the plus R player. This exactly, is yeah. A different beast and Faust, while still having many of the overarching themes and yeah. fairly similar play patterns, it's a vastly different beast yeah. from a top down perspective. Yeah. Maybe the timing on the setups are exactly what your option is. Yes, you get it from the high level strategy, like you're saying, but what is the option that you need to slot into that option? You know, catch them out on their response to the items. Let's see as we head into our final set of this team battle in particular, Elven Shadow versus Wozner fighting for the pride of both teams. Instant J2K, no cancel, yep. and Wozner brave on the poke out. Here we go, double jump, sends the bomb back, but on the way down, caught out in the recovery, oh, but caught out in the recovery of Axel Bomber, it's not gonna work. Yeah, I think the Faust Parade uh, may be messing up the combo routing there. Afro between you and me. Just run up 2K, paying off so well. Yeah, I think Elven Shadow is a little too comfortable going for these double jump air stalls, trying to bait out Wozner, but instead of going for a committal anti air, we're just catching you on the landing recovery. Yeah, well, Guilty Gear, a lot of really great air movement historically. You can get super hard punished yeah. for overextending in the air. Like, while we have so many great air options, there's so many great anti-air options as well in a game like this. Yeah, just like air throw, right? Air to air, anti-air, all the same to me. We're going to spin right on through trades with the JH. He's a Guilty Gear player, dude. He knows how to anti -air. He knows how to air, air throw. He's familiar with this air throw oh. champion. He's familiar dude. with the RC. Could have been able to kill. But there we go. Just keeping the pressure up in the corner. YRC coming out, counter hit, no big confirmation, but running up the close slash, ties it up on rounds, and nearly at parity on bursts too. Yeah, that's scary. I mean, chip damage can factor there as well. So is the scalpel, 100 ton. Bring you right back in here for the oh. golf swing. Near hole in one, just a little chip in after that one. All right, banana peel on the screen, set up the 100 ton weight. Yeah, that just reset it to neutral. That worked out so well for Elvin Shadow. Exactly. Lost the tempo. You had the 100 ton to save you. Banana Peel once again. Trying to get the potassium in. Saying, OK, I'll take to this guy with the JK. Full burst still available, and you escape the corner. Coming in, mix up. Double overhead. Back dashes out of the far slash. Wozner just trying to get in their range. Ooh, there we go. Throw back out the screen here. Crosses right on over. The JH is going to whip. So Elvin Shadow bursts you back into the corner, but no positive bonus found. Ooh. Trying to keep them safe. Elven Shadow was ready for it. Yep. Letting him spend the burst, not trying to bait or anything. Right into the funny tornado! Wozner on the brink of a reverse 3-0 OCV comeback. Staying alive. I like the use of the burst of the delay coming out there to make sure that you waited for the mix, 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 that guaranteed burst point to escape and bring it back off the corner. So like you said, one game away from the reverse sweep. Elven Shadow take a little bit more grounded now. Yeah, that the scalpels, the item tosses. right in his face, too. Yeah. That's a brave button to press. Are we going to do it again? Run up behind the parade, looking for the 2S. Nothing found. Has to block these cherry bombs. All right. Ooh. He's been Wolfner doing such a great job of just poking out of these J2Ks. Little pick up with the anti-air, 100 ton to put a little extra damage there. I like the jump back. We've seen some air throws represented from both sides, so just to make sure you're avoiding it. Oh, but he's gonna get RC right out of the corner. Elven Shadow me maybe being a greedy with the first bait. I don't know what that was. Yeah. Just empty 2K. Ooh. Elven Shadow, one hit away. You're looking for that donut, but no food found. Yeah, this is scary. You really don't want to greed for it. Yeah, and it's gone. It's been yep. eaten. Left it on the floor. Five second rule pass, unfortunately. 50 meter available for Wasner to try and seal this out, but didn't even need it. Rainwater to the low. And pressing on plus frames or trying to escape that 2K, that five frame low. Gonna catch out a lot of things. Ooh. Heavy slash caught by the round start. Far slash. All right, set the mini fast. We got the bodyguard to keep the pressure up. Whip on the 5K. We got 6H to try and bring you down, but still the only one taking damage here is Elvin Shadow. Caught out with 2K. No confirm. Oh, there's the 5K, 2K, setting up Winter Mantis. No one vision. We got glasses. That's two visions. Ooh, PRC Scarecrow, no. Trying to go for the tick throw, but this might be dead. Back. 
A little too far. Spend the burst. One touch. Running up for the trumpet. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> didn't jump far enough. The JK just completely whiffing. But the tiny 2K, then a popping off for their teammate. Wozner, the OCV comeback for team three baddies and a Porsche. What an exciting He's set got the of One Piece shirt, too. He really is the Luffy of the Straw Hats here. The baddie in the Porsche. Sealing it back with the reverse sweep Dude. for three baddies, one force, taking it over buff fast. But there are still some more rounds here in the round robin, so they are down, but not out. But damn, what an Dude, amazing Woz set. Wozner's riding with the top down, one arm hanging over the door. One on the steering wheel, one outside, chilling out with the wind. Man. Great damn, set. He's good. Great he is good. <laughs> he is good. He's been doing uh, better re more and more uh, okay. as he shows up to the local, too. Uh, I was talking to NPC. NPC is typically the one who runs the brackets, Ooh, who's, uh, okay, okay. calling the brackets, and saw that w Wozner going from uh, O two or to he is going to be able to stuff quite a bit, right? I mean, that is, you know, uh, obviously on the table. Heavy slash is always going to be the go-to problem for Abba here. Um, for Chris Chaos on Sin, we're looking for this uh, Elk Hunt will definitely help out quite a bit here. Hoof stop is also going to be a nice little factor here, but the quick dash five k catch with the anti and all you need to be able to stop there counter hit in response though with the jealous rage actually already active switches back out to try and go for oki to try and reset it but can't quite find the mark 50 meters still available as the distance closes we still have control of the corner as well but nice Ooh, jump out oh yeah very good throw into the corner here beautiful beak driver to hold the space but that heavy slash i'm telling you it is the one button that is going to keep abba safe but crystal finds a way in with the shatter yep, tap dust Winning the war on that one here. And he backs off right away, giving too much room. So Jealous Rage is active, gets the connection, and it might actually be enough damage here. Abba's output is kind of ridiculous, but no, oh, yeah. it's about a reset. Ooh. Oh, I think we caught a backdash right there. And of course, it's Abba outside of Jealous Rage. That's a long startup time for that backdash. In fact, almost non existent of a move for her. Yeah, RTL does a great job of being able to catch that. We get that first poke right away. Beat driver being able to win out in the footsies there, but Abba gets the knockdown, gets the transformation. Nice staggers. And then right back down the 2K. We're about in the danger zone here for that Jealous Rage. The install out, so we get a chunk right back. Good call out here. Chris in a load of trouble. Because the super puts you right back into that Jealous Rage, and it's a beautiful spot to be for Jaina. Okay. This one's not going to work out. RC doesn't get the hit. Nice. That jump back. The up back actually working out pretty well defensively, but in the end, the toes get clipped. Very nice stuff to even it up on rounds. See, it's that snowball effect. Like, once you start cycling back into Jealous Rage over and over again, it's so difficult to deal with the jump dust into the key grab. Here at the true Keyblade Master. Oh, nice check, 2K. Definitely a good press there. We're straight out of the activation here. Gains a ton of rage nice. and is able to get the cross up after the manual activation. Yeah, that's a deep cross up here. Shatter for the Abba Dabba Do. <laughs> oh, one more touch. There it is. The back dash and the heavy slash. And that was such an awkward situation, too, because whips a lot closer than she meant to. Actually has time for the back dash there. And Sin as kind of a panic option, you know. Smashing though, definitely not the worst thing you can do in a spot like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she comes at you so quickly in this Jealous Rage, it does. Like, she plays real guilty here the moment she activates. Yeah. And now, this pressure situation in the corner, beautiful for Chris Chaos. The hoof stomp connecting. Out of range, that's the up. Oh no, the dash in. Yo. The command dash is so critical to low profile some of these moves. She will get an opportunity right after recovery for that. But great pickup from Chris. Oh, back that's on the throw, though. Control of the corner. Transformation. And here we go. Wall health is still fine. So we should kill him the next hit. But IED out gets the throw. About to jump out here. But with the airborne state that Chris is in, we do have an opportunity. Nice peak driver counter hit. Nice. Oh, and catching the low. And just, that was such an unfortunate time to get the loss of transformation, too. Gets the air to air. And unfortunately, as soon as you transform, you don't have the movement speed to get the pickup, which would normally be yeah. a very easy close slash. Jeez. Yep. And again, big heavy here. Got our reckless. Actually, the 2H with the pickup into DP. All right, another one. Able to chase down. No overhead, but the spacing on heavy slash does find a mark. RC doesn't help you get the pickup, though. 
a good amount of damage. Yeah, he's rage is looking for Chip, and instead it's just going to be a nice poke there. Just wins out in the footsies in that close range situation. Round a piece yeah. and full burst still. That's a big part of this here. Ooh, okay, we got the guard point out. Looks a little bit more Jealous Rage, and look how much resources Jano has to keep up this offense in Jealous Rage. A big jump in. Look, that's a jump slash right there that we got the connection. Okay, and after the wall break, not able to get the guaranteed hard knockdown here, but look at the damage already. Half the life off the table. Look like it might be the rest, but no, the drop. I think that was supposed to be the grab action there. The key grab would have reset you. Potentially got the shatter here, but Chris Chaos, the driver, ended up finishing. Actually, excuse me, the tyrant barrel. Oh, DP as the starter. Charging the dust with a good amount of damage here. Not going to spend the wall assault. Wants to hold on to the burst, I guess. Yeah, big hit. Not the overhead because we're not in range, but a DP. <laughs> you got jump dust. Absolutely drop down upon thine enemy. You have to play the range. Definitely the smartest way to do it there. Almost got the finish. And unfortunately, Tyrant Barrel not going to find the mark. Go burst. Look for the final hit. The overhead does succeed. Chris Chaos. Yeah, I mean, golly. I mean, yeah, the scrambles back and forth between the two. I mean, in those situations, especially against uh, against uh, no transformation ABBA, a lot of the times you just go back to your roots. Play yeah. a little Rev 2. Beak driver, just poke, play it slow. Do not give her that opportunity. Absolutely. I mean, gosh, look at this. Already in the state here. Try to go for the heavy slash. And yeah, again, you're not going to be able to disappear away from that massive button here from ABBA. Nice slow, counter hit, big opportunity. Ripping away an offensive option here. Now that Jealous Rage is going to be down and out after this wake up. There we go. Yep, still good on calories as well. Mm -hmm. One more cancel in the bag in just a moment here, but it's not going to really need it here. The break through the wall and one more interaction. Oh! Ooh. Yeah, nice 2 on 4 s There you go. That's all you really need. Still holding on to the burst. No reason to be a hero at that point. Plenty of meter. Unfortunate to not get to use it, but the round continues. Again, fishing here, good 6P. Here we go, pick up on the DP here. Oh, a little bit too late on the Oki scenario here. Probably wanted a meaty, but ended up not pressing anything. Waited for Chris to stand up. All right, keeping it locked down. The activation was already there. What a confirm about Peak Driver, Red RC. There we go, another install for that. Jealous Rage. Actually very good to get the close out. Yeah, because the life point was already so low. PRC to make that next quick action. Chris Chaos in a position though. Yeah. Potentially to close this, especially with that burst fully intact here. Yep. That's such a crucial piece of the puzzle. Gets the knockdown in the corner. Looks for the low, but a good up back. Jumping out of a lot of pressure. Stagger again. Nice, at max range, but you can't try to contend against Heavy Slash. Heavy Slash from Ava will win in a lot of situations. She's not putting herself in danger. You're in danger. Oh, no. Last opportunity to try to push out with your resources. Still at 50%. Watch out, the air throw. Oh, wow. but unfortunately, it's a little too slow to be able to get anywhere near to threaten there. The wall is broken. And again, one more guess. Even jumped, unfortunately, doesn't get the bait. JD gets the hit. RC forward, is this enough? No! Wow, but after the drop, we just IED straight in. No hesitation goes yeah. in for the kill. <laughs> Tough match either way. I mean, like, goodness gracious. The damage output from ABBA, like, again, if she gets in a Jealous Rage, rolling into that damage output is so difficult to deal with because she's so relentless at this point. Again, she plays real Guilty Gear when she's like this. Absolutely, and you can see, I mean, Sin having to play it a little more reserved than normal. I mean, it's just, it's... The it's the hard thing about playing against this character and characters of this archetype is just that it's two completely separate matchups here. You can see yeah. even there, that beak driver, that poke, uh, that standing heavy is a really good option to represent as a stop sign against ABBA. But the second she transformed back, the command dash to be able to just go straight exactly. under low profile. It's so much to keep track of. Yeah, it, it's very difficult to kind of, you can kind of take her for granted when she's outside of Jealous Rage. But the one thing that keeps reminding you is her heavy slash, like every single time. And that's the one button that Jano kept going back to over and over again because it's a phenomenal button, keeps her on a harm's way, big counter hit opportunity to get the follow through. 
easy way to transform into Jealous Rage. We saw even a guard point throughout this, so great mm -hmm. utilization on tools from Jano here because we got that quick meter build at a round start for Abba, which is so good for her. Start things off against a character that can be as relentless as Sin. But our next set coming up here, we're gonna have B-Paw up against Trevward. It should be Nagoriyuki from Trevward here, still playing on that one, and uh, I believe we're going back to, I, aren't you right for B-Paw? Aren't you? Testament. Testament, Testament, Testament. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, so, I mean, coming to that matchup here, Testament, I feel like, definitely has some options to be able to right, you know, stay right. stable in this good footsies. Uh, they've got, obviously, the fireball and their command movement themselves with their teleport and being able to apply stain state against a very large and relative immobile with an asterisk yeah. uh, character in Nagoriyuki. Because, like, immobile, but, like, ah, uh, you know. Yeah, I can let it rip sometimes, <laughs> you know. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, wait a minute. Mm? Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I was about to say. We, yeah, I, I don't think I've not. I've been talking to Beepaw throughout the weekend, and it's certainly not on the table to be playing Abba. Um, but yeah, Testament coming out here, of course. So great call here because one, you know, Stain State is going to be pretty interesting, and Testament does play a little bit into the style of play that Beepaw really likes. Beepaw yep. likes to trap opponents. You see it across multiple games between Fairy and Grand Blue, uh, even for BB Tag, who we play with. Uh, and now in Strive, we do have that with the strike throw setups here. We kind of had that in Anji, but now much more aggressive here with Testament because you have Stain State to keep the opponent honest, Teleport to get out. You can still set things up with Arbiter Sign uh, and, of course, the uh, Grave Reaper. Yeah. I mean, we were even talking about it in the crowd. We were watching Axel run away from Faust, and he was sitting right behind us, and he went, isn't this fun? Full screen. I love this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. We listen. He knows what he likes, and he knows what he's about, and he like to see it. So, like we said, next match getting started here. Did he start? Just trying to see what's the action going to be, and of course, Beepaw takes a moment because it's the Goryuki round start. Like that's terrifying to deal with alone. Nice jump in. Great pressure while falling too, and Trevor stand blocking. Great defense though. All right, but already got caught low. That I mean, that Grave Reaper again. Stain State like we keep seeing. Now we do have 50 percent meter, so Trevor can't potentially YRC. We got the BRC to chase down, but drift backwards from B-Paw to get the whip punish on 2S. Straight into the Succubus here. Great amount of damage to come through and does get the hard knockdown. First still available. Not expecting to see it, though. Stain State. The application does help out there. And trying to use that 6P Testament, obviously a shotgun of a 6P. Among, among great 6Ps, it still kind of stands on its own. Yeah, absolutely. And a 5P to just shut things down here for people. And again, another round start respecting the Nagoriyuki start. I don't want to guess. I assume I'm going to have to block. And unless you Fukio forward, I'm not jumping. Yeah. I mean, at that point, why risk it against Shizu? <laughs> you might as well just yeah, chill. Yeah. Okay, dash up, gets the throw. OTG with the fireball. Setup comes through again. Strike throw working out beautifully right now. Safe and simple. Here comes the super. Going to look for the mix. Yeah, very good setup here. Beepaw coming in with the empty low. Another touch here. The jump in, ooh, a little bit too high in the jump fast there. I mean, just barely too high. We almost had the force stand guard, but the blood rage. Bad spot to be for Trevor. But oh. it takes only a single hit. Red RC. Okay. I'm surprised he's just immediately spending a super there, but. Oh, the burst comes through, sends it back full screen, tries to go for the jump in, but like we said, that normal is just absurd, whether it's an anti-air or anything in between. Yeah. Again, especially on a huge target like Nagoriyuki, it works out wonderfully. And we're gonna go back to characters, like maybe just a slowdown. I'm trying to remember who else Traveler plays. What? Don't. Not like this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> maybe we had a button off. Was it delay switch? Maybe we, maybe we turn up a frame of delay. You know, so, you know, I've been playing a lot of online. <laughs> I want to go back. <laughs> oh, right. dude. Well, we shall see here. B-Paw taking a moment to meditate, as they do. When they think about their options. Like, honestly, B-Paw is so methodical about how yes. he approaches uh, matchups in general. Like, just very critical about their own gameplay and thinks heavily about the next options that the opponent's going to take, things that can remove turns off the table, because that is the style that b really likes. All right, see the knockdown. That's a sustained state, tap dust, nice block. But 50 meter, though, looks for the throw attempt. The shimmy not quite there, but still stealing a lot of turns here. Trevor's respecting a little too much. Yeah, I mean, 
gosh, you still have RC available here. No anti-air. Try to get a jump out. Last touch is all that we need again. Counter hit, what are we reaching for here? Yeah, and even with the stain state there, it's able to be applied, able to get the explosion and get the finish here. Like I said, I Trev got to turn the heat up a little bit. This is yeah. what I want to see. 2S, get a little more active, even on defense. Don't be afraid to press 6P, 2P. You have the normal for it. All right, another 2S. Starting to build up in level gauge here, 6H. Nice slash series here. Meter spent. Well, you still got it. You still got it. Very interesting. That's another opportunity where, because even in the last game, Trevor could have done super. Yeah. Still got the hard knockdown, more damage. I mean, this is an instance where maybe we're not quite ready for the meter to actually get the shatter. You still got your kill. 6H was enough, but that's a risky gamble. Nice, Fukio again. Even though that didn't work, I like that. I, you need to take more shots like that. Ooh, good stand block for Arbiter sign, despite it not hitting. Like, we are active on defense here. Trevor's not going to get caught by Mix quite yet. TK. So, a slow block. Ah, uh, try to 5P, but testament, low profiles. Yeah, and is able to get the jump in, use the RC just to make sure the combo gets stabilized here. Side Ooh. switch actually works out, but unfortunately doesn't get the full ender. Yeah. Oh, same side teleport there. Yeah, I wonder if we really wanted that, because if teleport was over there, then we didn't want to go for that side swap. Nice 2S early burst here. B-Paw trying to close it out now, but Trevward has something to say about it with the 100 meter. Early spend in the overdrive. Slice into the guts with the guaranteed damage on the shatter. Absolutely is enough. And a good bounce back there. And it really just come from, came from taking more shots, more yeah. opportunities yeah. for offense. You have to create them. b is not going to let you have them. There's no. going to be small gaps, but if you're not taking them, b will just do a block string for 99 seconds. Yeah. That's oh, his yeah. play style. Yeah. I mean, go back and watch b uh BB tag videos. That is literally just all b is going to do is keep relentless pressure until you crack open. As you can see here, really starting to add up. Stain State continues to get reapplied, finds the throw, not able to use the burst here. At this point, might as well just hold on to it. The super to break the wall for the extra damage. Oh, I feel like I've seen this movie before. We'll see. Succubus set up here. Uh, you know, honestly, you force out the FD there to try to survive, trying to strip away that 50% potentially on tension. Already able to challenge right back out. YRC, look at the meter available. And the hesitation there, I think, really kills b here. That moment of pause to see what happened after YRC, instead of taking your turn, yeah. cost you this round here. Yeah, I think maybe was thinking super, because, I mean, having yeah. that 100 bar, yeah. that's one of those moments. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. I mean, Trev with a crazy turnaround here. Nice 5 p for the anti-air. Finds the knockdown. Fukio's forward and keeps the pressure up. Oh, out of range. Oh, almost had a confirm right there. The teleport does get scooped. Good call off for Trev. Oh, the BSU whiffing. That's the first BSU we see from Trev, actually. <laughs> yeah. Not, no. Oh, no. Too Gold far. burst. Uh, I wonder if we thought we were going to get uh, blue burst because of the block screen from the fireball, but recovered way too quickly. Oh, I'll bring her sign, the overhead. Nice dash up throw. Good. All right, and just like that, down to the final decision here. Speedball making mark here. Is Trev going to be able to extend this lead even further? Stain State applied there, but not much you can nice. do at that point. Jump scare with the Beyblade. Oh, nice block on the jump in. No back dash for you. Fortunately, we're gonna pick up another Arbor Sign to try to fight out of this corner, even on health. Oh no, 2S again. Often we've been getting caught by that. Trevor will Fukio forward, 2S, and Deepaw is being caught low. Stain teleport, nice. Uh, super for Shatter, not killing here. Okay, I mean, last time we saw him go straight back into the other super, not having the meter this time, he's gonna have to look for the dash up. Instead, it's just gonna be the Arbiter time. Trying to test the reactions on either direction. Doesn't oh. work out, and Trev is not. Oh. We have a shot here! Yeah, I mean, that was explosive. If were it not for that BSU, 
it would have been a tall order for Trevor. And, and honestly, that's not you know a pun on Trevor's height. He is just tall, He's honestly. Like, that's <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, like being you. able to get that BSU allowed yeah, for yes. that quick, rapid succession of, of Beyblade into DP right after to make sure that B-Paw is blocking. And if you try to reach again, you get to taste your own medicine here. I will frame trap you into death. Yeah, you get put into that uh, that horrible situation that we saw so many times. It was a uh, there was a week, there was an era of my Twitter timeline actually only being those types of situations where it was like, all right, block this mix up. <laughs> <laughs> Beyblade, Shizu, everything in between. Definitely cool to see as uh, the man, the myth, the legend is back on the sticks once again. The Garf, the Garfield. <laughs> it's not even Monday, oh so that's God. yo with the. It's time to die. I oh my that. goodness! I mean, it's definitely been that's been his ride or die all weekend long. It's been fun to get to watch, but here you know, taking a look back as we saw, and I mean, just to, to restate it again, a lot of this was just Trev coming back and just having a better opportunity at offense, making better decisions when it came to when to press out of these strings, and making better decisions on when to mm -hmm. try and be the aggressor. B Paul was just being a, game one was just B Paul was just a bully. For yeah. like three minutes. <laughs> yeah, it was, you know, and that's pretty traditional for b -Paw, right? You're oh, yeah. already being very aggressive in these corner situations. You don't want to give Nagoriyuki the opportunity to be explosive in this set because Testament has a hard time, you know, with no reversal available to them outside of just spending super. And b -Paw is playing with that intent in mind because we know that Nagoriyuki can put her, put you in these situations here yeah. where you're down on health or, you know, you put Nagoriyuki in a bad spot where they're one touch away and say, you know what? What do I have to lose? It's either you or me right now, and I'm going to pull the trigger. Yeah. And another thing that you pointed out that I thought was uh, was nice to see, but it was interesting, was uh, round start. We were playing like incredibly defensive from both players, pretty consistently at yes. the top. If your opponent, if, if we're playing Guilty Gear Strive, and at <laughs> round start you do nothing, the next round start, I'm going to see how much you're going to give me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> honestly. Like, I was very surprised at the full pause at, yeah, at yeah, the yeah. outset because that is, in a lot of matches, it's Nagoru Yuki's turn first, like 100%. Almost the entire cast, She's that the is the drug. case. She's yeah. doing 5K. Or <laughs> yeah, it's it's tough. So for b -Paw to make that respect at, out the gate mm -hmm. already tells you exactly how the match is going to go because, again, like, Testament's not getting out the moment that knockdown hits. The moment... Nagoriyuki has the advantage. It's going to be relentless. But that same could be said for Testament as we saw. You know, once we have Stain out on the field, I think the teleports, we had a couple opportunities there, but some of them were same side. Maybe we got a little too predictable with teleport situations where we're expecting Stain to be on the opposite side. Yeah. I think that one dropout in particular was probably not supposed to happen the way it did yeah. because we ended up teleporting backwards instead of going forward towards Nagoriyuki. And we would have gotten Shatter Scenario or at least Corner Position. Um, earlier in game, I think that was game two that mm. happened. So, um. yeah, I mean, just I uh, guess to layer on that as well. Testament is a part of the uh, the unfortunate club where uh, their best defensive options are system mechanics. And in anime games, not even just Guilty Gear, obviously mm. particularly Guilty Gear, but in anime games in general, if your answer to defensive situations are system mechanics, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> you're gonna have a really bad time. There's no anime game where that's not a, a universal truth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Honestly, like if <laughs> it, it's tough. If it's resource intensive and you're gonna be bullied, like it is tough. Let's we'll see how this plays out here between these two. I think uh, what, it's Home, Dep uh, Home Depot Temkin, right? Oh, why did I fuck? Yeah, yep, yeah. excuse me. Digubis and Vega. I fluffed that up so bad. That's okay. <laughs> I was, Listen, like, insanely wrong. All Potemkins are work at the Home yeah, Depot. They're, so they're all you. Home Depot Potemkins <laughs> to me. Oh, uh, but coming to the matchup, uh, I haven't seen this matchup since the patch. So I'll be interested to see. This was uh, in the original base version of this game on release. This was uh, one of the only matchups that Potemkin generally felt okay in. He felt like he kind of got whooped by a lot of the cast, and this was one of the ones where he did all right. Yeah. Milia has to play a little more passively until the knockdown, obviously. Right, right, right. And if if only just because Potemkin's 5P is, like, designed for beating a lot of Milia's approaches. Yeah. Yeah, it's such a quick option for him. Um, even, like, post-knockdown setups for Potemkin, as long as we get that light wall, that's an opportunity here. Garuda is right there to keep... No. Uh, million locked in and she's got nothing to answer for it here so being skybound is going to be the difficult factor here heat knuckle is also a great tool that you can use if you make a hard read against million yes but we'll see how it plays out with Dyke 
Oh, uh, Gubis here. That's big up. Nice approach. Air car, 5k pickup. Yep, starting out pretty decently well, finds the knockdown, grew to block. And there we go. Yep. You, you have to burst that too, because you lose a ton of corner position or in the same situation again when that happens. Wow, and you're dead. It's just that easy. Yeah, I mean, hey, it gets worse every, uh, the lore is, it get, the matchup gets worse every Gerudo you block. Okay, knockdown though. Nice. Disc, first connection, goes for the burst, definitely a smart decision. Right. Nice, chop, slide head. Make it difficult for Millie to get in, but once that counter hit connects, oh, 2K2D, nice. Yeah, and already really good use of low capel, which is really the uh, the biggest thing you can do to deter him from trying to go for the anti-air with the match 5P. Mm -hmm. Winger for the break. The winger does no damage, bro. Uh, <laughs> you know, yo, the heavy delay calling out the guard cancel here. And thanks for the free 50% burst. I didn't have to work for it. Much appreciated. Vega will take that one. And that's especially good against, as you see, low capel beats 5P again. Uh, that's especially good against Potemkin because we haven't talked about the elephant. The, the man is one of the most, the biggest abusers of the White Wild Assault. Yes, <laughs> and we've not seen it once quite yet here. Oh, nice dodge, but you got the PRC to keep yourself safe. Of course, it's 2K2D. Put well, that back Mega Fist, definitely good. Don't get much afterwards. Nice Don't. air throw, knockdown into Garuda. Yeah, the Garuda again. No escape. White Wild Assault here to make sure we don't get pushed out too far. Good relentless pressure here from that group. Is yeah, I, if you uh, even if that 5K, even if it's blocked, as long as you don't get IBF deed out, you can almost always get in the Gigantor from there. So you can generally just knock that round out. That's really, really good play. She's okay. good blocks <laughs> until suddenly it was not. I was really feeling for Daikubis on defense where they're like, dang, you're doing good. And then suddenly, Melia makes a crazy cross up here. Nice wild assault. Just to get the hard knocked off, strip a little bit. Ow, hair car not working out the oh, way he wanted. No. Drops it down twice in a row. Didn't want to commit to the 2K2D. Instead, oh. looked for a heat tackle and loses out on the armor. Yeah, that was very good. Oh. I mean, low hair car was able to come oh, back. Red RC was helpful. I think you're dead. No, 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 no. Didn't spend the meter. Could have. I mean, to your point. All right. Oh, huh? my God. Hair car pokes him just barely underneath. That's crazy. That's Make the hitbox bigger, bro. All he right, needs Vega. <laughs> All right, Vega. You got so lucky that hit first. I'm so surprised you didn't RC. Right. But he would have gained another 50 meters. That's the thing. After the pop buster, even, why not red RC there and like, get another shatter? Close slash 2H, HPV. There's right. a lot of stuff you can do there to kill, yep, but it yep. doesn't. Here we go. Gets the hit again. All right. Like a fist. There we go. 6H. Yes. 6H. Oh, a heat tackle. Okay. Nice. <laughs> All right. Sorry, Milia. Hold the Garuda. All right. Nice backing off there, but the hair car will catch the jump in here. Back to this. Or needs one more interaction with the tap nice. dust to get the overhead. Good stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely respect the block on the 5K there because that feels like a really obvious pop buster when you're that close when the YRC is blocked. But in the end, a little ship from the night between the two normals. Capel ends up finding the hit, knocked down in the corner. Double jump. Much shaker here. We're out of dodge. Nice jump, S. Okay, all right, we got one more hit here. Not twice. Yeah, unfortunately, that's not going to happen more than once throughout the set. Potemkin will crush it. He right. tackle back to the corner, though. That shoulder check. Another Garuda. Keep it close. Massive delay on the shoulder check right here. Goodness. Oh, gee, wow, interesting hurt box right there. <laughs> okay, jump K. Does work out here for Milia. Okay, knockdown once again. Trying to take this to the next game here. 50 meter is available here on the wake up, but instead nice. it's going to kill. Wasn't expecting it to do quite that much, no. but there we go, a game of peace. Okay, Milia, <laughs> the vanguard here right now, trying to survive. Digrubis, get some advice from B-Paw here. I, and again, you know, like I said, even prior, like that, 
Beepaw is so methodical in these sets, right? Trying to learn any sort of small advantage that you can take advantage of here and try to catch player tendencies. Like, Beepaw studies tapes like mad crazy, so you have to respect the game here for the coach. Okay, once again, though, Capel is the hero of the day. There's the hit in the corner, close slash into the 2S. First time we've gone canceled early on the 2S. I like that. Yep. Ooh. All right, spin it out for the victory. Oh, right side into the, another cross up right there, just in case the first one didn't work out. Nice. Yes, sir. Oh, no. Your soul. Oh, it was too far. Didn't want to come into it. Uh-oh. All right, so now we're full distance. And we know better than to go for Herakar from full screen. Oh, my God. Don't put nothing. Is just jumping back. No, something with the controller, I think. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's up backing for his life, and it, it disconnects. Oh, my days. Are you kidding me? The most that was that was maybe that's why the tiger need bad moon drops. Yeah, maybe. All right, going right back into it here, round two. Oh Looks no! Up around here for Diagubus. It just couldn't be worse. OTG close slash the flex shield buys you some room, but not enough room. All right, let's pick it up here, and it's looking dire here for Vega right now. Zygubas with a 6P finish, and my goodness, you were almost the coolest player of the day for that one, and suddenly Daisuke had other plans for you. What a heartbreaker for that to happen. I mean, and it was extra good because it was like the, the first instance of TK Bad Moon we really saw. Saved yeah. it. We were saving it for Nationals, bro. Finally Quite gets literally. it to the last second. <laughs> That's the only TK Bad Moon we saw that entire set. Yeah. And it was the lowest possible TK Bat Moon you could do. And it exploded. It all exploded. Hey, well, Daisuke is watching live right now and said, snipe that PlayStation. That was too <laughs> good. Well, Dagobus, I mean, still in a position to be able to make this comeback. Yes. Really tough matchups to come, though. It doesn't get any easier. Sin, we uh, we started off with our easiest matchup, I feel like, in Milia. <laughs> Obviously, still not a still not an amazing one, but yeah, I feel like yeah, that, yeah. Was a, that was good, the, the simplest one for sure. Coming up now against the uh, uh, the Sin, this is not this is super unfun. And then right <laughs> after this, if you survive Sin, it's Nagori Yuki, which I think they're okay against Nagori Yuki. If we get to that matchup, I'll give you my I'll give you my takes. Okay, on that one. okay. I'll give you my takes okay. on that one. But yeah, no, this is a this is. A, in my eyes, as a little bit of a spoiler to my take, I think this is the final boss right here. Uh, we have there's a there's some rays of sunshine potentially if you can make it past. Sin. Okay, okay. Well, we'll see here if the young lad Sin stands a chance at, against Potemkin here. How old is Sin? He's like seven. Sin he's is. Like I think he's like, he's like twelve. Like right twelve. Okay. I know he's like super young. Look at that growing boy. Absolutely. Jesus. All right, another beak driver here with the knockdown. Caught the back dash, 2K2D. Oh, nice catching the overhead, though. That big delay feels like a command grab every time. That's such Absolutely. a good sell. Such a good sell. And we saw that in the previous set. One Garuda, I saw you block it, let you recover. Heat tackle out working, and what a throw. Are you kidding me? And luckily, Sin can hit from just far enough to where the fourth field doesn't <laughs> matter at all. That was such a throw animation for Sin. Beautiful stuff on the back throw from Chris. We'll try it one more time for the fourth field. Yeah, I mean, just getting real estate. Definitely well worth it. Gets a trade, though. Knockdown, all you need. Tries to jump away. Oh, did we press against Ride the Lightning? We sure did. Yeah, it tried to be non-committal too. Just look for the 2P, tried to go for the poke, can't quite find it. All right. Okay, got the low. Jump back here, Mega Fist will get punished. Red RC for the pickup here. Assault opportunity for the hard knockdown. Which is interesting because the first time we saw Chris show up, we didn't get any wild assaults at all in that set from Chris in particular. Yeah. Oh, no. I respect sending it, but unfortunately, now what you want to see Tyrant Veil for the close. And Chris, 
than one game away now. Yes. Can't let the uh, we <laughs> we were talking with uh, with Ham Jam. Shout out to the homie. Yeah. He said, uh, "Anchor Grappler is a very bold choice in team tournaments." I will say that I 100% agree. I mean, it's gonna be the probably the most hype anchor that you'll see. <laughs> Because if, if the grappler makes the comeback for the team, that's the best thing in the world. You're, honestly, you're, on, a, you're on a poster. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. And that beat out a reversal as well. Yeah. Good read there. Your C, no escape. Tried to get the 6P, though, and definitely getting an escape. Chris Chaos, the Tyrant Barrel. Okay, nice. Most stop to come through. Jeez, nice pickup. Oh, had to burst right there too. Otherwise, we had all the meter in the world to finish it off here. Nice overhead again. Red RC. You can't court as long as we get the quarter. All right, not quite get the shatter. 6P opens up. Chris is expecting the splat. It did not get it. The Garuda finish here. Dude, and what a drop and what a turnaround. Actually ridiculous there. Just stealing that round. But wow. now, armor not super. With how fast his cancels are and how good and how quick the activity on they are, uh, armor is not super effective in this match. Yeah, I mean, 6P right in the beak driver is such a good shot here from Chris Chaos to beat out Slidehead. With the Mega Fist, get out of the corner. Oh, oh, was it quite the arse, fast RC we were looking for, but we still made that single step and a pop buster. Jump S. Nice. Gonna head straight ahead. The corner carry is good. Push block is amazing. Waits for the burst. It never comes. GP on wake up. Oh, what a back dash and a throw. Nice. Proxy. This is, this is getting happening. intense. It's happening. It's a game of peace. And making solid reads on defense in the corner. Great back dash to avoid throw scenario. 2D right. is working out tremendously here for uh, Daibut Gubis. It's time for Daisuke to snipe another controller. <laughs> match. No. Daisuke already has locked and loaded. Oh, got the punch on that one, though. Into the corner, counter hit. Got a burst at that point. It's going to take a grip of your life. But the poke still wins out. Tyrant Barrel once again. Nice. Okay. Oh, okay. So we already got the blocks done here for Garuda. Scary situation because now we go for jump and Chris Chaos meets into the air, but the pop buster. No RC again though. Ops for the light wall. And you know ride the lightning's a potential. Yeah, plenty of time to block on that one. Oh! Nice block! So smart! Still locked down by it, goes for the jump, it drops ass, bro! No way! You what can't even a be mad round! At that. You could not be mad at that. That was so intelligent from Daigubis here. Nice, 6P, we're out of here. With a quick cancel right after Beak Driver and another one here to hold the corner. Oh, okay, that's a punish, yeah. Boom. RC to switch sides, very smart. Nice flick. Going Massive back. life lead right now for Daigubis. Going back to neutral sucks though, but still the flick hits, that's actually huge, low profile. All right, not quite hitting the guard cancel, but the hammer fall wow. comes through. The Heat, Knuckle, oh, Daigubis takes down God. another player in Daigubis. The last bastion of this team. And is heading into the final matchup here. And I mean, just everything coming through in this matchup is so difficult to deal with. Sin just has all the tools to be able to answer most of the things that Potemkin wants. Right. And not only is he better on offense, he has a great DP for dealing with a lot of the stuff that Potemkin wants to go for. So in, with the deck, stack, the deck stacked against you, still finds a way. It's been crazy to see the uh, force field interactions that Daigubis has messed around with here. The one unfortunate factor was Chris Chaos getting that back throw to avoid the entirety of it. But this right here, the reflect right into the super, forcing an immediate burst from Chris because that was curtain for Chris regardless here. I mean, the pop buster reads in general, the, the delay on Garuda has been the story yeah. for Daigubis going into game after game that keeps you guessing. Like you said, you feel like it's a, it's a command grab coming up, but it's a button. And coming up to this matchup, this match is not bad at all. I don't think it ever has been. Yeah. I actually think that Potemkin does pretty well here. Yeah. I would call this 
this feels pretty down the middle to me, yeah. honestly and truly. I mean, I could see it with the uh, slide head being very helpful because if it is Fukio forward um, or into even just DP, right, like you're still able to fall through with that one-hit armor, get the knockdown against uh, Nagoriyuki if Nagoriyuki goes full screen. Slide head and even Hammer Fist both help yep. on those interactions here. You're going to have to make a hard read on an anti-air scenario if you are Nagoriyuki in this matchup. We'll see. Uh, Mega Fist is definitely really good. Uh, a right. lot of the a lot of the approaches that he's going to go for. The normal you're going to see the most generally is uh, standing heavy. We're going with the Gunther chop. Yeah, that yeah, is the so, whole chop. So strong. If you get the counter hit, it's very easy to react with charge right. to be able to get the knockdown, uh, or just go for the slide head to go for the knockdown if you want to maintain corner position. So uh, there's a lot of good options between the two. Uh, I would say just purely on volatility, uh, the volatility side of things, I would maybe put this slightly into Goryuki's favor, but right, this right. has uh, always been the, the one of the sleeper matchups that Potemkin does pretty well in. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I totally see it where you're coming from, too. It's just... The explosivity from Nagoriyuki is always that massive potential that is terrifying to deal with, but the same could be said If you make a delay in your approach, if you try to frame trap, or if you try to go for um, just a single button into BSU territory, Potemkin is also potentially looking for that one frame to get a pop buster in there. Yeah. Plus, uh, Wake Up Back Mega Fist is incredible in this matchup. It's totally. super, super good, uh, especially if your opponent, like you said, is going for BSU or anything of that nature. If you're able to get the counter hit on it, you can almost always land a sweep, uh, yep. and you can pretty much always turn it into your turn. Uh, he's going to need to use a YRC or a burst or something to be able to just kind of decline the situation. Uh, it gets, <laughs> like you said, we keep using this word, but it's because it's definitely the best word for the... It's very volatile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Absolutely. All right, so we're trying to get a Brooks converter hooked up here to make sure that it works up with the console here because we're on the PS5, and some Brooks boards are still installed uh, uh, on the older boards. Now that we got the newer updated boards from Junk Food Arcades, definitely check those out here for those snack boxes. Sure. Actually, I really need to check that out because uh, they're currently doing free shipping for orders oh. over $75 free That's shipping. Crazy. Okay. So, yeah. So, basically, buy a snack box, you get free shipping. We take those. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to get, I need to get a more a more travel size stick, but I don't want like a drone because it's too small. Right, very tiny. You know, when I first started exploring the the uh, joystick of area, I picked up the collector's edition of Tekken Six, mm. and it was a wireless a wireless Corey <laughs> stick. But it was the cheapest one I could do. I'm like, no, yo, it's 60 bucks. Why my, not? And I get Tekken 6? Okay. My first fight stick ever was the WWE Brawl stick. So don't worry. I've been, I've been yo, there with you, okay. bro. I was a, uh, listen, that thing is that thing is amazing, yeah. though. I love it. it was, yeah. <laughs> you know, there's a fun fact. There's still a Marvel player who, uh, Living Legend, shout outs. He got yeah. top eight at uh, TNS9 and does really, really well. Uh, he plays on the WWE Brawl pad. It's like oh, one of those, like, yeah, the, the, six the six button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I love seeing people play on controllers that you're like, man, they still make those, huh? Yeah, <laughs> like, that is the thing. I mean, Hori is still releasing that particular fight pad. Yeah. Here, so. <laughs> Apparently, it's a great pad, but who yeah, knows, man? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's going to set us up for the match, though. Let's get it started. This is the finale between the two. Will the reverse OCV be true? Will Potemkin run wild in the Midwest? Yo, and look at it. Round start respect. Getting flashbacks to people against... Uh, Nokoriyuki here. If there was one place in this matchup that's not even at all, Jesus. it's that. You need to whoop the tempted ass at 99. He cannot fight you. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Relentless against Trevor here. But let's not forget, Trevor also went down that first game against B-Paw. Yep. And then made the comeback right after. Almost like just, I need to absorb your play style, and I will challenge right after. Just catches the back dash, hammer fall. Try to get the close dash after Fukio, and unfortunately caught right under and into the grips of Potemkin. Are you kidding me? That's Meter, oh! tick throw to make it happen. Oh, man, and a perfect. That is the game. Dagobus is looking ridiculous on the momentum. This could be it, and he's feeling it. Oh, my he's goodness. Why not? The whole crowd's behind you. Big counter hit start. Garuda, now you're blocking. Guess again. Oh, okay. White wall assault. Not the counter or anything. Just got to put to the corner. <laughs> Oh, it says he's got one of his own, though. Breaks through with the armor. One of the dangerous portions of this matchup. You have to cancel earlier. Gets the hit, though, but drops. Wasn't ready for it. Right, no slash here. Trevor being a little more aggressive. Nice throw opportunity. Actually, very scary. And no escape. Even though you got the guard cancel, I still have these extended ranges with my sword at blood level two. 
And just like that, 6-8 to take the round. Very nice. And like you said, I mean, Trev just adjusting well, playing a little more offensively. Round start. There we go. Shizu, anti-air. Take what you can get. Nice. Stand up for me real quick. Another Beyblade approach, but watch out this blood gauge here. It's going to burst. Right, got a little bit of blood back. Thanks to that uh, heavy slash there. Oh, no. You can't be pressing buttons right here. RC is available for the next interaction if you so choose. Oh, I think maybe 6 is going to kill. Oh, Still okay. all right. Armor's through. Slash series saved your life there after the RC. That was very critical. But another hammer fall for a round. And this could be it. This, this could, could be the reverse OCV right here. Full burst. Arnie. White Wild Soul right off the rip. Another Garuda. Nice 5P into a knockdown. Get closer to the corner of the stagger into Pop Buster. As RC not going to spend it, going to hold on to it. How are we going to spend it now? A oh, fast RC again. Another Pop Buster. OTG for the kill and the reverse OCV. So Amazing sad. play. And again, just one of those scenarios. Potemkin putting people deer in a headlights mode because you don't expect this hulking individual to move as fast as he does. And my goodness, being caught in the corner against Garuda Impact back to back to get put into a pop buster blender is not a good feeling. It's suffocating. <laughs> Definitely always a tough one, but you know, the hero of the story has got to make his mark, the OTG on that one. And honestly, just across all three matchups played incredibly solidly, even yeah. when situations didn't go quite his way. Uh, I mean, I think back specifically to like the Milia hair car that beats you through a uh, uh, through uh, Gigantor, that's yeah. like, stuff like that. That can really put you on tilt, but being able to yeah. keep that mentality together, keep yourself, uh, keep the ship stayed. Dude, crazy set. Yeah, I mean, honestly, just writing the course of history here throughout this set is Daigubis, the hero that saved this set entirely here. And honestly, it's just so many of these interactions just worked out in Daigubis' favor, especially when you're scared to make a move against Potemkin. And that works all the better for a grappler, right? Because yeah. if you're going to sit there blocking, that's more opportunity for me to get a command grab. That's more opportunity to put more damage on the board against you. So good stuff from Daigubis. Yeah, but I believe, I believe currently that is going to be the end for the round robin of Strive. Yes. We are going to have even more Guilty Gear coming after that, which is going to be exited. But yes. before we go on to that one, we got to talk to you one more time about all the people, all the wonderful companies that are involved in this and making Roundhouse Tag as great as it has been. Yes, absolutely. Let's not forget the one and final FGC meetups at Ignite Skokie. It'll be happening next Friday from 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. There will be open tournaments there with the $5 bracket fee. Let's send it off with a good one here as we look to a brighter future with Low Kick Esports. As well as the Indiana FGC coming through with Fight Club. So don't sleep on the FGC and friends in Indianapolis. Fight Club is monthly and is hosted completely well all the way through. It's going to be March 23rd with five official brackets, casuals, and more. Check the links above. Make sure you, uh, you know, tap in. Absolutely. And, of course, support the Low Kick Socials. Just because that they, we are moving on to another venue does not mean that it is the last time you will see Low Kick Esports. All the VODs, of course, the streams will still be going on. Follow twitter.com slash Low Kick Esports for the latest information on the next location for locals here. All the best to Low Kick crew. As well as the mid-best exhibitions, they were both absolutely ridiculous. And if you want to relive it, make sure you uh, are ready to be able to check that out on social media later, as we said, for Low Kick. But uh, they were definitely incredible. It was amazing to get to see so many teams fielded the way that they were uh, and yeah. get to see the, you know, that regional pride that I feel like has been missing for a long time. Uh, good to get to see everything come through. Make sure yes. you check those out. The VODs are incredible. They were so fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to see what the next iteration may be for something like this. It may even grow beyond just specific locals. Who can say? And of course, Neutral Ground, of course, their April schedule is still going on. That's going to be in Detroit, Michigan out there. Make sure you check out the events that are there. Next uh, Monday will be Tekken 8 and Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising. Of course, on uh, the 15th tomorrow will be Street Fighter 6 and Under Night 2. And then on April 29th, Street Fighter 6 and Under Night 2 again. That one will actually be taking place in Detroit every week. So make sure you check it out there on the start.gg slash Neutral Ground. As well as the Ohio FGC. If you are anywhere in the area in Ohio or anywhere near 
Make sure you get there, tap in, find out where the local scene is for you. Plenty of tournaments, plenty of casuals, and plenty of amazing people. I got to chop it up with a lot of the people that came here from Ohio this weekend, and they were all super incredible people. Very, very nice, very, very welcoming. So make sure you check it out, ohiofgc.com, to get yourself tapped in and, uh, you know, find your local FGC. Yes, absolutely. Super helpful with that website. And, of course, all the merch at Roundhouse Tag is still available. Definitely check it out if you're here at the event. Uh, you know, they, they show some excellent colors here to lead into spring and, of course, some great apparel items as well. You got the T-shirts here, the sleeveless hoodie to prep you for that athletic season or even put on those cozy shorts. Represent the Midwest and grill outside with your dad hat when you're playing disc golf. That's right, the dad hat is available in both lavender and stone with the Roundhouse Tag logo. I had to cop the lavender and the, uh, the sleeveless hoodie immediately. Both yeah. so good. So good. Definitely amazing merch. And, oh, uh, man, run the set coming through. So the Milwaukee FGC is hosting a bi-weekly tournament series. Run the set hosted by our friends at Magic 4 FGC. The hub is the best spot to catch the games in the Creve City. And run the set is the perfect vibe to see what this growing scene has got going on. Make sure you come in. Tekken World Tour points are on the line. So you got to get in there, take it serious, you know. Come see the homies. Yes, indeed. And, of course, definitely check out Heavy Attack from Okazemi Coffee Co. That's the new uh, coffee that is actually here, and I've been able to smell it over the weekend. It smells delicious. It tastes delicious. I had my first taste of it this morning uh, to get me going. Okazemi Coffee is an FGC-focused coffee company that is focused on community with sustainable sourcing, and Okazemi is sponsoring Midbest and Roundhouse Tag, a Midwest-based company run by a member of the FGC. Check it out at okazemi.coffee. Yeah, I mean, listen, support small businesses, support FGC businesses. Got to do what you got to do. But that is going to be all for us for Guilty Gear Strive. That's a pleasure as yes. always, especially getting to sit through a set like that. Though. I know. <laughs> like, who would have thought that Potemkin would save the day for an entire team? That was absolutely spectacular. And like you said, Exer coming up right after this. So don't go away. More Roundhouse Tag is right around the corner.